you very much. All right, man. Shit, another full house, man. I appreciate you guys being here. Thanks so much. Monday night, feeling good? Yeah. Oh, that's a turd in a punch bowl. Listen, it's Monday night. The drinks are flowing. We're at a bad fucking podcast. It's kick-ass. So you guys ready to have a good time? Yes? Yeah. All right, man. All right. So yeah, what we're going to do tonight, like we've been doing for, this is our eighth uh, episode that we're going to be recording tonight. Uh, it's an open mic podcast, pretty much based off the format created by Kill Tony. People sign up and uh, we draw their name out of a bucket. They get a chance to come up and do some uh, up to two minutes of material. And then we talk to them and see what kind of fucking depraved lives they have. That's <laughs> usually what we do. And uh, I just want to say, uh, I know we got some returning guests. Good to see you guys again. And thank you guys for being here for the first time. Uh, if you don't know much about this show, you're going to hear some inappropriate shit and uh, questionable things. And if you are um, easily offended, uh, you made a terrible mistake by coming here tonight. That's what happened. Because <laughs> this show is uh, definitely, we've had a lot of fun with it. But uh, we're doing a re live recording tonight. We've got three cameras, audio in here. Uh, so I say that so you guys just know that you guys are an audience, like a television show, man. So y'all's energy really helps us. If you, if you find something funny, laugh. Loosen up the buttholes, people. <laughs> it's Pride Month. I mean, you know. <laughs> Let's do it. I mean, shit, last week we had a bisexual fella in overalls and Hawaiian shirt. Yeah. Don't tell us we're not inclusive. <laughs> no, man, we're having, we've been having a lot of fun in here. So uh, no uh, talking during the, uh, during the show because uh, we don't, uh, you can't hear it on the microphones and it's disruptive to everyone around you. And uh, yeah, we're just going to press on and have a fucking good time tonight. What do you guys think? Yeah? yeah. All right, man. I'm going to introduce uh, one of my co-hosts. He's going to come up here and start, the, start things off as he normally does. He's a fantastic musician, fantastic comedian, and he's one of my co-hosts on here. Start clapping right now for King Hooker, man. Let him hear it. Let him hear it. Yeah. I'm not as tall as Judd, unfortunately. <laughs> I gotta be lifted to that top shelf, you know. All right, um, my name is King Hooker. That's because I'm a short king and my last name is Hooker. Let's have a good time tonight, all right? I usually start this ditty off with a funny jingle. This one's gonna divide the crowd, okay, to say the least. I got any uh, cat people in the house, hmm? You got cat people in the house? Oh, all right. Surprise and react. How about my dog people? Where are my dog people at? Yeah. Always louder. <laughs> Always a little more disruptive, always hopping in your fucking lap when you don't want them to. <laughs> um, no, I love dogs. I'm more of a dog guy. My roommate's got cats, though. It's fucking annoying. They do this shit where they hide in various places of the house, and I don't know they're there when I walk by, and it's like eye level, so I get little slaps from God every now and then. It's fantastic. So I wrote this song in the perspective of a cat. I hope you like it. Holy shit, is that a string? I want to touch that fucking thing If you don't let me, then I'll piss on everything I'm a cat, so I don't care You'll spend days cleaning up my hair And when you pet me, I will stick my ass in the air When I'm hungry, I'll say meow Meow, wow, I want to eat right goddamn now Now, I'll leave a turd inside the couch Oh no, my only problem is my owner named me Captain Sprinkles McGee. Yes, I am licking my crotch. It's very rude of you to watch, but I will make eye contact while I shit in a box. No, I haven't seen your ring. I don't know where you would put that thing. I'm not, you know, supposed to know the location of your jewelry. I'm a cat. It's not really how this works, you know? <laughs> like I've got a little reverb from the crowd. <laughs> Was it that thing? <laughs> Was it the thing that was in my mouth? Or was it that thing? 
goddamn lucky it didn't go down south Or was it that thing? Oh no You shouldn't leave those things around I wrote this song, it's not too long You people should have bought a dog Thank you, that was my pussy song, I hope you liked it Yeah Keep that energy going for your other two co-hosts, Mr. Judd Jones and Jimmy Moynihan, everyone! What's up, everybody? Holy shit. As always, starts out the show one more fucking time for King Hooker right there, man. Come on, let him hear it. Thank you. Holy cow! I know you th- you did that song at my one of my shows like a while back, and I fucking love that song so much. The first time you, you did that, and you started doing the retching thing, I was like, he's having an episode. <laughs> like I thought it was real at first, and so yeah, he totally fooled me, man. Totally fooled me. So yeah, one more time for King Hooker, man. Let him hear Thank it. Thank you. Starting off the show for us Thank each week. Much. How you feeling over there, man? Feeling good. Yeah? Feeling like a pack of fresh Twizzlers. Beautiful. Before they get stale, you know? <laughs> it's all about the time. You ever been man. beat with a stale Twizzler? Yes. That was my mom growing up. She was fat, so she didn't, <laughs> she didn't say go get a Switch. No, she just grabbed the stalest Twizzler next to her and fucking <laughs> let me have it, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I totally believe you. I swear to God, that makes a lot of sense. Holy shit. Yeah, it checks out. It does. It does. <laughs> and uh, how about a round of applause for my other co-host, this guy right here. That's Jimmy Moynihan, man. Woo! Let him hear it. Yeah. <laughs> How you doing today, my man? Doing good. Had a. Uh, if you look back at the last uh, video, you'll see that about with a half hour left, I like closed up, and that's because I was having a full blown panic attack on stage. So my goal tonight is to not have a fucking panic <laughs> attack. <on stage. laughs> so I do that. It's a victory. Right. He wrote I wrote a, it to you. He wrote me a note. I'm I having wrote, a panic attack, and I'm like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? <laughs> Like, I don't yeah. know, like, what's going to happen? Like, I'm I don't, just I don't like, know. I'm having a good Yeah, I'm like, oh, shit, okay, all right. Yeah. Holy cow, but it was a oh, fucking great episode, yeah, man. A great episode, yeah. That, the last episode, episode seven, was fantastic. And, uh, man, we got all sorts of people watching our, our episodes already, man, for having only been, this is now our eighth episode. Uh, two episodes ago that we uploaded, it's already up to 4,500 views. Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah, I mean, we'll clap hey, for that. man. Yeah, yeah. 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 We're motherfucking influencers. Yes, we made it. <laughs> I'm, shit, a co- man. I'm a content creator. That's what we are. Ugh. Holy shit. I it mean, sounds gr- better than unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> now, granted, I'm not sure that all the people who are watching it are English speakers, but fuck it. I mean, there's, we got the numbers, so it's working out good. Uh, so for the second week in a row, we're going to have a special guest who's going to join us tonight. And our special guest tonight, uh, I've had him on my Thursday show, the Space Coast Comedy Showcase, many times. Funny comedian. He's actually been on this podcast before. And uh, we were talking, and we were like, we got to get him to come as a guest because this dude is so funny. Young dude out of Orlando is doing big things in comedy. Mm. And he's like one of those guys who's probably going to move from Florida pretty soon because he's doing big things in comedy. How about you give a round of applause to my friend, Captain Wright? Let yeah. Captain Wright hear it. <laughs> Captain Wright. Oh, yeah. What's up, folks? Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> nice. Sorry, I got comfortable. What's up? Looking good, dude. You got your uh, camouflage Dang, on there, a, dude. It's a skeet okay. shooting shirt. It is a skeet yeah. shooting shirt. <laughs> Not the only kind of skeet I'm going to be shooting tonight. Is that right, uh, folks? <laughs> oh, yeah. No, someone told me. They're like, yeah, it's a skeet shooting shirt because this is for the butt of the gun. Right. And the front pocket is where you keep shotgun shells. So now I know why they have front pockets on school uniforms. (laughs) 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 Out of that in the car on the way here, folks. That's really good. Do you shoot skeet? Are you a skeet shooter? No, you don't. Stolen Valor skeet shooter. That's all right. (laughs) You're gonna be called out. (laughs) And you, uh, I saw you were in Austin uh, last week. Yes, yeah, this last week. How was that? Stand up comedy all over Austin. Amazing! It's the best city of all time. Yeah, a best city of all time. Yeah. So uh, when are you moving there? Oh, probably next year. Ah. Okay, I was gonna <laughs> say it's, uh, yeah, it's bound to any any young comedians like there. A lot of them are moving to Austin, man. That's yeah. a that's a good place to be at this point. A lot of comedy going on there. Yeah, but t- too much comedy almost. Too it's much. Crazy, yeah. Yeah, man. Fuck it. Whatever. <laughs> All right. So how about uh, we're just gonna start this show here, uh, and we'll draw names out of a bucket in a minute. 
But uh, the guy who's been starting this show for us for the past few weeks uh, is a fucking lunatic. And um, I'm glad that he opens the show for us each week. Uh, brace yourselves. Welcome to the stage, my friend, Salty Aaron. Let Salty hey! Aaron hear. Salty Aaron. Salty Aaron. This country is too divided. <laughs> Way too divided. And you put up another stick to be a unity factor? No, you fucking morons. It's time to ignite the flame of Taylor Swift for presidency. <laughs> If anyone can scalp $10,000 tickets for fucking nosebleeds, that's unity. <laughs> can you imagine what they would do if she said to do it? They would do it! Instantaneously! Fix the potholes in America. Bam. Next day, infrastructure. Taylor Swift fans fixed all the fuckery. In one fucking night, Philadelphia is a murder-free city! <laughs> Detroit has automobiles in production again! <laughs> because Taylor said so. I haven't anyone heard anyone say, hey, fuck Taylor Swift in this moment. Unity. I'm done. <laughs> That's Peace Salty work. Aaron. Salty Aaron right there. Wow. We never know what it's going to be, but I wouldn't have anticipated that angle. I know. I'm a metalhead. It really hurt writing that joke. It did. So Taylor Swift, huh? You yeah, think that's gonna I, be I, I think so. Because, I mean, Ticketmaster prices and Taylor Swift don't really exist, apparently. Doesn't happen. Wow. Not, not together. <laughs> Boy, the, uh, the, the, the chain of thought like, that he had on those jokes is, uh, sounds very drug-induced. I sat in a delivery car on my way here, and <laughs> my tire was near flat, and I was like, fucking hate Taylor Swift. I need to make her a god tonight. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing that Twitch thing. Uh, Sorry, man. No, I'll look like this it. way. <laughs> you um, you said he stopped at a kava bar on the way here. I did. I spent way too much there. <laughs> How much did you spend? Like twenty three dollars. Uh, right. right. Yeah. By kava, he means meth. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Yes. Well, you said before you need the kava just to come down to this level. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It's amazing. Lots of yes. Yeah. I don't know if you guys are familiar with kava. I'm not even sure what it is. It's just like some sort of muddy water that's for like. I don't know. It's for former addicts or something, and it's like a. <laughs> I don't know. Isn't that what it for is? For me, uh, I just found it, and they don't yeah. understand why I'm there. <laughs> I scare them. <laughs> it's heroin mud. That's what I've. Yeah. Hey, yeah, to it's light. Yeah, yeah heroin light. <laughs> right. I imagine you scare a lot of people wherever you go. I don't always talk scary. Oh, you don't always no, talk no, scary? No, no, very calm. Oh, you are? Yeah. He's what, what is your sexual voice? Like, do you have a sexy voice? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a series of Tim the Tool Man Taylor grunts. <laughs> <laughs> and throw a little Wilson in there for my, my extra ooh face, you know what I mean? <laughs> a do, you mind, do you mind doing it? No, I'm not going to do that for you, ah. Jimmy. You got to turn them on first. <laughs> All right. gotta you got to buy me at least $5 worth of kava. <laughs> got to warm him up Done. a little bit. I heard the Eras tour. Anybody go see Taylor Swift recently when she came through? Round of applause. Okay, good. good. Nobody's rich enough to, to afford Dude, Taylor. Bro, I heard that. I read an article. I guess grown women were wearing diapers to be able to sit through every fucking song. <laughs> They're just squeezing one out, listening. I'm just gonna <laughs> shake, 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 shake. Wow. Ironically, that's, that's what I'm gonna. <laughs> this guy's trying to eat over here, Scott. Yeah, right. <laughs> Sorry about that. They're trying to eat in the front. Yeah, holy. He shit. might have a diaper on. He's a big fan of the show. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Doesn't want to miss a single joke. Yeah. Thinking about diapers. 
What are, what are you gonna What were you gonna say? Uh, nothing. No. We'll nothing. Stop. We'll stop there. Uh, I swear to God, I love the fact that you come on this show every week. Um, again, because you're a fucking weirdo. Sure, sure thing. And um, you rant and rave, and nobody would have antici- anticipated Taylor Swift for president. Hashtag Taylor Swift. Hashtag Taylor Swift. You Hashtag may- Rod DeSantis. <laughs> Hashtag Donald J. Trump. Uh, Hashtag whoever the rep- uh, whoever the Democrats are throwing up. Right. Well, yeah, you it's actually Joe Biden, right? Well, I hope not. Who knows? I think he'll be dead. I don't know. I feel like Nancy Pelosi is like Taylor Swift if she became evil. <laughs> And very uh-huh. old, and yeah. very old. But you she got them sag melons, though. I give her that, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we need Janet Reno back. Probably filled with California raisins too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's yeah. It, the, the milk is expired. Yeah. Um. So you're a big DeSantis fan for comedy, right? I mean, I I, I will be. <laughs> yeah. So you're hoping he wins the presidency. I'm guessing. I'm hoping he gets embarrassed, and there will be another Matt Gates to rise up in his place. Nice. Perfect. Well, that's Florida, baby. That's what that is. 100%. Can't be any, as bad as Gillum. You know what I mean? That's true. Well, yeah, oh, oh, the guy. The, yeah, right. The guy that DeSantis beat, barely beat the first time. Yep. Yeah, they had, that guy had a very exciting past, huh? Mm. Yeah, look it up, folks. Mm. All right. Uh, Salty Aaron, thank oh. you so much for starting off this show again. Yeah. Give it you up guys for have Salty a great Aaron, night. man. Let him hear it. Yes. Great job, man. Great job. No, 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 no. no. What, who are you? What is who this? Who the fuck are you? <laughs> What's your name? It's just her phone number on it. Oh, it's Ty. No, it's not. Ew. <laughs> who the fuck? Why don't you? You're already talking at the bar. Why don't you shut the fuck up? We're doing a recording over here. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Julian, tell that girl to be quiet. You're the one she's talking to. <laughs> what did you put in here? Your phone number? Oh, Jesus. What a fucking vomit. All right, shut up. We're going to keep going with the show. You weren't here for the announcements at the beginning. You're going to have to leave if you don't shut the fuck up. <laughs> Holy cow, man. Good God. Damn. You got like a whole recording shut going. Up, it happened, I mean, it's like the third time in a row. That's a lot. Jesus Christ. So a woman too. Who? Shut up. All right. Next comedian coming out of the bucket here. Goes by the name of Sebastian Hernandez. Yeah. Let Sebastian hear it. Sebastian Hernandez. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, I guess I'm not going Shut, Shut up. up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. It's good to be here. Um, I know last time I was like Cuban and whatever, but <laughs> I'm not going to do that again. Uh, I got to talk about my life. Um. Uh, when I was a kid, my parents used to always like tell me that a little birdie told them something. And ever since then, I've been wondering who the fuck this little birdie is. I've been fucking killing birds ever since. <laughs> I don't know which one did it. I don't care. <laughs> you know what I mean? You guys ever be on the road and see a sandhill crane and just fucking... <laughs> Just watch the feathers fly. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking birds. I know that's not... I get it now, but it's okay. Uh, Anyways. (laughs) I think idioms are kind of fun, like... But they're kind of, like, retarded at the same time. (laughs) I shouldn't have said... (laughs) Yeah, whoops. Uh... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I don't know, like, um, some of them are really mundane, you know, like when pigs fly, you know. Like, a good example for that would be, I'll believe trans women are real women when pigs fly, right? Uh, <laughs> or, like, the whole nine yards, right? Um, like, I got the teachers, I got the kids, I even got the janitors, the whole nine yards, I School shooter. Uh, (laughs) 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 But some of them are like really violent for no reason, like bite the bullet. I don't know who did that first, but it's probably like a bad, I just, is it over? Sebastian (laughs) Hernandez, folks. Sebastian Hernandez, let him hear it. All right, yeah, thank you. What's up? It's good to see you again, man. You too. Yeah, and you uh, didn't have the accent as you did last time with no, those jokes. No, I don't want to be trapped in that, you know. Right, sure. Yeah, that would suck. 
You have the op. <laughs> <laughs> that would suck. I'd become like Bobcat Goldweight of Cubans. Like, it's weird. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, your voice, your real voice is the complete opposite of what you did. <laughs> Before in that thick I Cuban am sick accent as well, and, and and you showed up here sick. Yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> Everybody's gonna. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <Christ>. <laughs> Y'all fucked. And I'm Holy just cow. <laughs> yeah, what's up? Wow, Sebastian. Uh, good stuff. I like the Sand Hill Crane bit. That was funny. It's funny, right? Yeah, yeah I like that. that that's well. You know one. what? I actually. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Have you ran over a bird? <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> Those things are big. They yeah, fuck up your car. Yeah. Yeah. He's they do crying. knock it out the road. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the uh, the joke about uh, not believing trans uh, women are women. Um, I tell you, the uh, our lesbian contingency really loved that joke right here a lot. Is there lesbians here? <laughs> <laughs> the whole row. Six <laughs> lesbians. Yeah. In a row. Do you, yeah, you think like they could do like a human centipede of lesbians? <laughs> <laughs> That's that would crazy. be a viral moment. That would be a viral <laughs> moment. That's for sure. I've seen it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like four of them when you said that joke were like... She spilled mm-hmm. her drink because yeah. I said it. But yes, we're, <laughs> we're happy to have you back here, ladies. Thanks, it's good uh, to see you. Thank you guys for being here. Never mind his jokes. Don't worry about yeah. that. There's other comedians. It's okay. So what's been going on with you, Sebastian? It's been a while since you were here last time. Yeah, I've um, recently been unemployed, so that's good. Yeah, mm. That's the face I made. <laughs> what were you doing before you were? I was employed? an electrician. Electrician? <laughs> yeah. Why'd you get fired? Well, I was like, I don't feel like I'm in charge. What the fuck? Ooh, oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Ooh. Crowd didn't like I'm it. I'm trying to fight the power. <laughs> you know? Oh, I get it. Power because electrician. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. There's levels to that. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So you didn't feel like you were in charge. So yeah. then you just quit. No, the real thing is that I just kept showing up late. Ah. Uh. Yeah. What time do they want you there in the morning? I had to be there like at seven. Woof. Yeah. Where the the, the electric store? <laughs> <laughs> this is a genuine question. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like uh, I, I was piping stuff, you know. Where? Uh, the Lake Mary Hospital is doing an expansion. <laughs> I was involved. <laughs> <laughs> I was involved in that. Worst interview yeah. ever. This is compelling <laughs> as shit. This is amazing. I, I but I asked. Honest. I asked him initially. I asked him yeah. initially. So, uh, are you going to go? Are you going to go back to being an electrician? Or are you just doing comedy? Or uh, this shit is not delivering out. food. <laughs> <or> <laughs> <working out? laughs> so I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. Uh, <laughs> well, I, uh, anybody hiring? Uh, lesbians? Are you hiring? <laughs> I'll be a lesbian. Uh, that was bad. You think work. they get paid to be lesbians? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> it's not a job. I mean, really, it's not. It's not. You know, electricians and their wittiness. Yeah. Right. Yeah, don't quit. <laughs> I was going to say don't quit the day job, but he did. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Sebastian Hernandez, I'm so glad you came back here again, yeah. dude. Keep on coming back anytime you want. Cool. Keep it going for Sebastian All Hernandez, right. man. Let him hear it. Do you guys like being referred to as the lesbians? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're okay with well, that. <laughs> they were the ones that brought it up the first time, I believe. Y'all two were, y'all two were here before, and yeah, then was, you, br- yeah. you brought a whole Bro- goddamn <laughs> gang of you, huh? A gang. <laughs> yeah, man. Shit. I was, no, no hate crimes for a bunch of dudes. That's right. It is. Yeah. That's right. It's gay pride. That's what I said, right? They do travel in herds. They do. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> 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 Holy shit. All right, the next comedian coming to the stage goes by the name of Rob Ford. Rob Ford. Let Rob hear it. Keep it going. I've never dropped a baby. I have stuck three of my five and a half nieces or nephews' heads in ceiling fans, though. Mostly not on purpose. Like, uh, you know, it makes a fun noise, guys. It's kind of like too many golf balls getting hit at a time. You know, you lift them up and you get this nice th 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 sound, you know. Um, and I say five and a half about them because my family collected divorces like I collected Pokemon cards. So uh, some of them just aren't as important. They don't last as long. It's easier to say five and a half than uh, seven this month, I think. You know? Um, and... Uh, I went to New York recently, guys. I saw a bunch of misprinted T-shirts. I'm staying in Chinatown, as you do. And uh, one of them just kind of really caught my eye. It said, the best moms are dance daughters. (laughs) That 
feels a little Epstein-y to me. I don't know about you guys, <laughs> but like, I'm not, I'm not sure I agree with the Asian hate, but if that's a popular t-shirt, I, I get it. You know, <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, like, I'm not saying I'm going to kick someone on a train track for it, but I might steal their food. Like, I don't, I don't know. Um, and yeah, I, yeah, I don't have, like you said, I don't have any kids of my own. I, I have all the nieces and nephews and things. I helped raise a couple of them. Not well. Um, <laughs> like, you you want your kids to be dedicated. I got that through to at least one of them, but he left a lasting memory for me is why I probably won't have children because he's a little dedicated to the wrong things, uh, mainly Call of Duty. And uh, I'm sure we, well, it's a group of us, but you've all played Call of Duty, right? <laughs> if you're straight, I wouldn't ask, but I figure, like, you've all got at least a decent KD, right? No, um, my nephew is a little too dedicated to Call of Duty because he uh, shit his pants playing Call of Duty zombies. Keep it going for Rob Ford, folks. Let him hear it. <laughs> Rob, uh, first minute, zero laughs. Yeah, I fucking never have done well in Coco. Not once. Oh, you think that's the reason you're location? No, I do, I do that joke all over the country. I've never had an issue. Coco, I have a 0% success rate. <laughs> the, 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 like the, zero. The like, I've never done well. The joke in with holding a baby's head underneath a ceiling fan and it's letting it It's worked in every room I've done <laughs> except for the ones here. <laughs> like, I, I mean that wholeheartedly. Well, you recovered after the first minute. Then you yeah, were getting laughs yeah. in the Epstein. Yeah, stuff. I went towards the racism and pedophilia. It seemed pedophilia. to get pretty strong in here. Right. Epstein yeah, yeah. always maybe that's what. Back. Maybe that's you know the the client list is just real heavy cocoa for Epstein or something. You know they they hit close to home down here. Well, you're saying know. we're all pedophiles <laughs> in here? I don't know. I go to. I'm not sure. I like that. Like Rob Ford's cub. Like. <laughs> Fucking hilarious, dude. Yeah, yeah, that, uh, yeah, the first few jokes, I'm, I'm surprised those have ever worked. I mean, they work everywhere they've done them, so I'm not what, worried. <laughs> what city has it worked in the most? You said you did it all over the country. Uh, Orlando and Jax. Orlando and Jax. Yeah, it's worked so well two, in New York. It's I can see well Jax in Texas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Two places, yeah. 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 Tampa, Orlando, Jax, Winter Haven, uh, Austin, New York. Little Rock, Wichita. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, <laughs> it's I like a Johnny Cash song. New Smyrna. <laughs> <laughs> You know. I've told rape jokes in what you talk. Okay. Right, right, right. right. Wow, well, good reference. I didn't know you had a country aspect yeah. to you. Holy I shit. I do a lot of things. Wow. That's <laughs> impressive. Yeah. So uh, there's only selective cities where baby violence works and jokes, huh? Uh, I mean, selective cities where it just doesn't seem to work for me at wow, all. Wow, right. Yeah. No, By I mean, selective, I mean here. But right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's the location, I'm sure. Um, no, but you recovered uh, yeah. beautifully, dude, after the first yeah. minute, man. Good jokes, good laughs. Yeah, What's funny. been going on since the last time you were here? Ah, just standard doing a bunch of shows, a bunch of different things. So, um, did some did a show with Hooker over in uh, Winter Haven. Went pretty well. That was fun. Yeah. Um, you know, just standard shit for comics. Other than that, sleep occasionally. Oh, sleep <laughs> occasionally whenever <laughs> I can. <laughs> I know, not not super interesting. I know on that. No. Not, yeah. Not particularly. Not, not especially. No. No. <laughs> um, no, but that's all right, Rob Ford. Yeah, no, I was just curious. But you, you are getting up a lot, doing comedy all over the place, right? Yeah, typically. Typically yeah. you are? Yeah. That's going well for you? Occasionally. Yeah, I mean, it goes Occasionally, well. Occasionally. Yeah. yeah, right. It's going well. I mean, like it's it, we're, we're all, for the most part, newer comics. So, I mean, it's spotty. You, know, you do right. a show, you'll do two, three shows, and then nothing for a month. So Sure. Well, that, that's who I like having on the show is newer comedians. Man, It gives you a good platform to get up, yeah. tell some jokes. Get no laughs for a minute. Recover. <laughs> get laughs, man. You did it, dude. Yeah. Fucking great. Anything else you want to add before you take off, dude? No, I'm good. Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing to talk about at all, Rob. Uh, you, you've been here before. You know the format. Fucking, if you're from Winter Haven, come out to the Juggernauts uh, or the Wing no, Rose. Fucking Jeez. shit. Jeez. Oh, and boy. if you're from Winter Haven, I'm sorry. Wow. I'm not going to smoke a bowl out front. Everybody want weed. That's about it. Well, <laughs> well apparently the Coco people, people don't like your jokes, so you don't want them coming to Winter Haven. <laughs> All, right, All right, folks. Give it up for Rob. Rob yeah, Ford, man. Let him hear it. Let him hear it. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Heck yeah. Heck yes. yes. Can we swear on here? <laughs> yeah, I should have asked. Uh, you asked ask now. Oh, yeah, no, this is a clean <laughs> show, please. All right. Shit. All right, next comedian coming out of the bucket here 
That person goes by the name of, oh, here, I think this is the guy who was here. Yeah. That's the guy. The this is the guy. Eight. This is the second time here. The first yeah. time he was here was the first time he did stand-up and comedy. And now it's the Ooh. second time. And probably a second, maybe third. Start clapping right now for Jonathan Simon. Let him hear it. Jonathan Simon. Hey, y'all are uh, missing somebody. This is a lesbian Corey Feldman right here. He was going to join you guys later. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to. So, uh, yeah, it was the first time a couple weeks ago. Appreciate it. Everybody's really friendly. I uh, started an Instagram. That was a lot of fun. And uh, I saw the video a few days later, and I was like, fuck, I'm fat. And so I, uh, so I looked at like my da- online dating profile. I'm 40. I'm single. I live in Vieira, which may as well be heaven's waiting room, and I may as well fucking kill myself at this point. But so... Y'all have probably heard of, like, when, when men talk about women, they're like, oh, the crazy hot scale. Like, she can be crazy as fuck, but as long as she's hot, like, I'm in, dude. I'm like, cool. But nobody ever talks about that for men. But I came up with it because I figured it out. Because I got on a scale when I went home, and I'm like, I fucking finally weigh more than my credit score. <laughs> so when I fill out the profile on Hinge, it's like, how much do you weigh? Are you skinny? Are you, like, average? And this and that. And the last option is a few extra pounds. There's nothing beyond that. (laughs) And I feel like I'm sort of between average and a few extra pounds and maybe morbidly obese, depending upon what the doctor says that day. And I feel like on Hinge, like instead of a few extra pounds, like I should be able to enter my credit score. I'd be like, yep, I'm fat as fuck, but it's an 805. So... (laughs) (laughs) Sorry. And uh, so anyway, online dating sucks. Um, I've, I've tried it. It fucking blows. And, you know, I feel like everybody is into the same thing. It's like, what are your interests? It's like, oh, I like to go out to eat. I like to go to the beach. OK, well, I live in Brevard County, too. And but what it told me is, is that really only rich people have hobbies that are interesting. Like if you go on Hinge with regular ass people, it's like, you know, I go to the beach. I go out to eat. Rich people are like, oh, I'm, a, I'm an art curator at a gallery and I play the fucking violin. Those are rich people hobbies. Those are not average person hobbies. So. Jonathan Simon, folks, let him hear it. Great job. Well, since you, ca- I, I, I'm sure Captain is uh, chomping at the bit since you called him out. Oh, not even that. Just why do you hold the microphone like that? That's crazy. Oh, all right. Yeah, you're not an MC, my guy. It's like throwing up gang signs MC while telling jokes. It's like. I just want to know. You needed to see the video to figure out your fat. <laughs> Listen. It's called sort of like affirmation in the mirror in the morning. Right. I'm like, you look fucking great today. And then I saw that video. And then he tried to like, hide behind nope. the mic stand, too. Yeah, that's <laughs> like, like, that well, he, he told me to move it last time. And, and I was you like, didn't I don't, move it. I don't think <laughs> that's a good idea for me. No. No, you literally should have moved the <laughs> mic stand. Like, I, that was the 101 comedy thing that I gave you uh, last time. But yeah, when you were here last time, uh, we've been, I, we, I've talked about you a couple times since then, dude. It was your first time ever doing stand up comedy. You were with that broad who was talking. <laughs> Right? I thought yeah. that was your girlfriend. That's I, not? No, it was like a neighbor friend of mine. Yeah. It's like my support group. Right. Yeah. 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 So she was talking, and then all of a sudden I call your name, and you fucking stand up and come up here. And I'm like, fuck the one person who's with this chick who wouldn't stop talking. And you come up and do stand up, and it was your first time, and you fucking did great, dude. Thanks, man. Appreciate yeah, you did it. did really right. great, man. Oh, he, it was all right. Yeah. <laughs> But how many times have you done stand-up since the last time you were here? Uh, one more. I went to Muggsy's that Thursday. So this is your third time doing stand-up comedy? Yes. Round of applause yeah, for him, for man. Him. Yeah. yeah. Wow. How, how old are you, if you don't mind me asking? 40. And still wearing oh. flat brims. Yikes. Yes. Right. <laughs> I, have, I have a wide face. It's really oh, okay. the only hat that fits. <laughs> Well, you definitely dress better because uh, never mind you being fat. I mean, he I'm, dressed you know. worse than this last oh, time. Oh, dude, you don't even yeah. know. Ugh. He had capris on. <laughs> yeah, he had <laughs> sweatpant capris, yeah. not even regular sweatpant capris. Sweatpant capris, nice. flip flops, and it looked like the t-shirt he slept in. That's Jeez. what you it came was. up here with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. I slept in this too. Is it? <laughs> he did. Well, it's a, it's a little bit nicer this time, dude. You had one <laughs> laugh after another on the set tonight, man. Great job. Does it feel good? Yeah, man, it feels good. Thank you. Yeah, still holding up mic like a fucking MC. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. Yeah, right. Well, if that's how you're comfortable, all right, you can keep doing that. Sure. So when are you are you gonna keep doing stand up comedy? It's like the most fun I've had since I moved here. So yeah, this is great. Nice. Hell yeah. yeah, man, for that's sure. Good. And everybody's been really nice. All the people I met, thank you. And uh, yeah, it's a really fun thing. That'll change nice. soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
I'm enjoying it while it lasts. Yeah. I have like 17 Instagram followers now. I'm like really excited about it. Oh, yeah. All right. Fellow influencer. Caitlyn yeah. Jenner over here. At 40 Blue years Jim. old. I mean, that's an achievement. That is an achievement. Yeah. Wow. Last time you were here, you talked about being in a mental institution at one point. There we go. Yep. <laughs> Well, you brought it up last time. <laughs> yeah. At one point is an understatement. They saw yes. the way you hold. Oh. <laughs> they saw the way you hold microphones. Like we gotta lock this guy up. <laughs> <We> gotta, <laughs> we so, do you anticipate going back to the mental institution at any point? Uh, I mean, it's not a bad vacation, but I haven't been a bit. I'm trying to avoid it. You know, doing what I can. Mindfulness. Avoid it by doing stand-up comedy. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's cheaper than therapy. So yeah. yeah. It's like a highway back to uh, the mental uh, yeah. institution. Yeah. I wow. appreciate you bringing that up, though, for the people that didn't see it last well, time. Well, it's yeah. online, yeah. dude. You brought it up last time. It's all fair game, Jonathan. All fair game. I swear to God, dude, I'm uh, I'm impressed with uh, this. Your third time, you said that is crazy. Your third time is good. Yeah, Thank like you. I'm 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 jealous. Yeah, <laughs> I was naked my third time on stage. <laughs> different story, different time. But yeah, you did great. It was good. Yeah, man, you should definitely be proud of that, dude. Keep writing. Keep doing your thing. Hit those open mics. Jimmy's got an open mic on Sundays. And uh, Muggsies and all that other stuff. Keep doing it. Come back here, man. Keep rolling, Jonathan. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Keep going. Jonathan yeah. Simon, let him hear it. Wow. A lot of laughs. Yeah, a lot of laughs. He's a good guy. Yeah. Dressed a lot better than last time. A lot better. Yeah. It's crazy. Right. Oh, you should have seen him. I thought he was homeless. <laughs> All right, next comedian coming out of the bucket, folks. You feeling good? Yes? Woo! All right, man. Stay in it. Loosen those buttholes. All right. Next comedian coming to the stage goes by the name of Roy Shepard. Yeah. Roy Shepard. Let him hear it. I feel like uh, the saying, I had a funny thought is a lot more polite than saying, I fucked a comedic hoe. <laughs> my, um, my grandmother was a paranoid schizophrenic, and uh, they say it skips a generation, but I've never been diagnosed with anything, and that makes me feel suspicious. Um... <laughs> uh, I uh, had a nervous breakdown a couple of years ago, and uh, now I've got a couple nervous tics. And uh, I feel like it's important to talk about this because I don't want anybody to repeat my mistakes because nervous tics are really awful emotional support animals. <laughs> a buddy of mine just recently got married, and, uh, but he and his wife have been together since they were in high school. And that got me thinking, because like, I graduated 20 years ago, so like, what would my life be like if I had married my high school girlfriend? Like, I'd probably be, I'd probably be divorced for 19 years now, you know? <laughs> All right, that's my time. Roy Woo! Shepard, let him hear it, folks. <laughs> Great job, Roy. Thank you. How's it feel? Uh, it feels good, yeah. Yeah, it's my first time meeting you, I believe. Uh, yeah, we've spoken like a couple times, but not... Just in passing? In passing, yeah. Right. Have you... Uh, how long have you been doing comedy? I, I feel like I'm, I kind of know a little bit about you, but maybe um, not. About a year and a half now. Oh, you're okay. That's it, huh? Mm -hmm. I feel like I would remember talking to you before. Last week, yeah. <laughs> I think you're thinking of the scene of Forrest Gump when he runs across the country. Ah. Uh, <laughs> that's it. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Come on. Relax. It's exactly <laughs> it. I mean, that's exactly it. Wow. Yep. That's right. You were here last time. You didn't uh, put your name in the bucket to go up. You were just hanging out last yeah, time. Was, right. Yeah, I was just hanging out. Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why didn't you put your name that's in the bucket last time? Uh, well, I, was, I hadn't really uh, had anything new that I was wanting to try, and uh, I just wanted to hang out with Tim and show support. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Tim Blaylock is a buddy of yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tim, good guy. He's going to be up here a little bit later on. Nice. Where are you from? Where do you live? Uh, Daytona. Oh, y'all are both Daytona. Ooh, Daytona dogs, huh? <laughs> nice, man. All right, very cool. Uh, uh, the uh, funny thought, that was fucking funny, dude. I like that. I feel, even it though took I'm, me a long time to get it. I was like, <laughs> funny, <laughs> funny thought? Well, being somebody who's, like, who's 47 years old, I'm very proud of myself that I knew the reference. Like, thought. 
And a lot of people in here don't. I know Jay Alvarez did. He laughed like shit back <laughs> yeah. there. Yeah, great stuff, man. And you had a nervous breakdown, you said? Uh, yeah, I did. Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I said it, and I had one, yeah. Uh, <laughs> he remembered that he lived in Daytona and started freaking out. He was like, shit. <laughs> Scary there. <laughs> So what did the nervous breakdown, what was that, wh how did that manifest itself to you? Uh, in like a hand tremor and um, <laughs> just general. <laughs> did you think you were getting superpowers at first? Like, uh, I was hopeful. <laughs> <but> <laughs> wow. How long did it last? Uh, the tremor? Or the nervous breakdown. <laughs> oh, um, how nervous was the breakdown? <laughs> how nervous were you? It was, uh, was kind of like a, it was like at a couple hours, I guess. Couple hours, like a yeah, like had a, like a really bad uh, panic attack and um, couldn't focus at work and had to. Oh, Jimmy, you That's, that was me last week <laughs> on the yeah. show wow. when I was doing I this for a half show. hour. <laughs> <laughs> right. How long ago did that happen to you? Uh, it was in 2020. 2020. So you've been good since then. Uh, I mean, relatively, I guess. <laughs> All right. No more tremors since then. Um, well, sometimes you know, if I get pretty stressed out, then it kind of sometimes will come back, but not. As much as, like, it was for a couple of months at first. So. Ah. Mm -hmm. Does stand-up comedy make you uh, stressed? No, this is this is pretty fun. Yeah, yeah. I, get, right. I mean, you get the anxiety before you go up. Like, uh, is it, you know, are people going to laugh? But, you know. Sure. Well, people laughed at you, Roy. They did. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. I mean that in a good way. I mean, they did. They laughed <laughs> at his with jokes. You. With. Like, with yeah. is the way to say it. Yeah. Right. Wow. Roy Shepard, man. Great job, dude. Thank you. Yeah, you did all right. <laughs> yeah, not bad. Not the, bad. The schizophrenia joke was very funny. I thought that was very good. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are waiting that for a punchline. I, I, I support it. Yeah, man. Good stuff, dude. For only a year, you said? Uh, yeah, just about a year and a half now, yeah. Just about a year and a half. Mm -hmm. Wow, man. Great job. We'll keep plugging along, dude. I hope you come back here sometime soon. Absolutely, yeah. Thank you. Keep it going for Roy Shepard, man. Let him hear it. Yeah. Wow. So now we got two people from Daytona, huh? Two Daytona people. They are a different breed in Daytona, aren't they? I think they all are one breed and, and <laughs> <laughs> they all obsessed with each other. I'm sure that's how you reproduce. I don't know what I'm saying. Right. That's funny. The next comedian coming to the stage the lesbians are killing goes by the name. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why I'm intimidated. I think it's because they're on a line and... I feel they're, like you they're know like, they're the like our, our best, some of our best audience. They're returning guests. They I love know, this no, show, man, right for here. sure. All uh, right, the next comedian I just drew out of the bucket here. He's back again, I think, for his third time. Start clapping right now for Sam Castellanos. <laughs> Sam Castellanos. Let him hear it. Uh, I went to a pajama party the other night, and it was pretty awkward because uh, I was the only one who was naked. <laughs> I sleep naked. Uh, so uh, a bearded lady used to be like a freak show circus act, right? Right? Yeah. Now a bearded lady is my nephew's third grade teacher. <laughs> and uh, I feel bad for him because it's got to be confusing for a little boy, you know? Full beard, <laughs> nice titties. It's okay, relax. No, can you tell me to relax, actually? Relax, dude. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I wish my high school counselor would have told me that. Um, anyways, uh, when women beg for it, it's hot, it's sexy, right? But when men beg for it, they're just homeless. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, my phone number is 321-576-2896. Drop me a line. Tell me what you think. Thank you. Sam Castellanos. Ah. Let him hear it. Dropping the social media tag. <laughs> handle. And Full phone number. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. He said most people that listen to this are Indians. You know, they love to call people. Oh, yeah. That's I like their favorite thing. Yeah. yeah. I <laughs> yeah. get so much spam. They're going to sell you so much shit. <laughs> like, I need to get a new number anyways, so hopefully it encourages me to just get a new number. 
<laughs> well, whoever gets your old number is going to be fucked. <laughs> yeah, fuck them. Wait, does that happen? Do they recycle numbers yeah, like that? Really? They do. Is that why I'm getting, I'm getting texts that are calling me Juvaye? That is, yeah. They're trying to like buy my house. I don't own a house. Interesting. It's spam. <laughs> uh, okay. Wow. Sam, most of the time when you come up here, you're shit faced. Correct. You're not tonight. <laughs> not enough. And it's equally a disaster. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out the formula, you know? Right. I'm trying to, like, dial it in. Well, you're definitely uh, very amusing. That That's for sure. And, yeah, you did put your phone number out there. That's my baseline, Which yeah. will not be edited out of the podcast. <laughs> per, uh, yeah, I hope not. Definitely keeping that in. I, yeah. Thank so you. what's been going on since the last time you were here? You've been doing stand-up a lot? No. No. Uh, I've been working a bunch and just, like, staring at the wall. And just like contemplating my life choices and just, you know. Yeah. So where are you at on that? It's not good, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, uh, I have a, uh, uh, I paid up my, my speeding ticket. Last time I was here, I, had a, I got a speeding ticket on my way here. Oh, you did? I did, yeah. And he was a very nice police officer. That gave you a ticket. <laughs> that gave me a ticket. Yeah. He 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 brought it down like a hundred bucks. Uh, shout out Matt Perez, badge number twenty seven, uh, from the Bravo unit. Um, badge number twenty seven. Yeah, badge number twenty seven. <laughs> twenty seven. Twenty seven. Wow. Yeah. No, he was a cool guy. Cocoa Beach Police Department. Um, I was hammered. And he seemed to not care about that. <laughs> nice. He only cared that I was going fast, and I did try to evade him. <laughs> and I'm not bragging. It was it was a real thing that happened. And he still yeah. knocked 100 off. And he knocked 100 off because wow. I told him straight up, I was like, listen, dude, I was trying to be slick uh, and trying to, like, lose you. And he was like, I appreciate the honesty. And he didn't smell the alcohol on my breath. And it was overall just a good thing. That happened because wow. it could have ruined my life, and he didn't. Wow. Yeah. You look like your life's already been ruined. ruined. <laughs> what? You look like your life's already been ruined. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's a, good, that's a good point, and that's very funny. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy We're shit. We're having fun here, man. <laughs> We're, We're trying, trying to have fun, fun here. <laughs> We're having so much fun. And overall, things are good. So thank you all for being here. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are a very good-looking group of lesbians. Yes. Oh, no. And I l I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to bring them up again. You, how can you not? I like watching... Le <laughs> I, I mean... It's just six judgmental lesbians all staring at us. It's <laughs> it sounds like a nursery rhyme. You know, <laughs> it's like... Six, judgment <laughs> six judgmental lesbians <laughs> looking at us now. <laughs> I love watching lesbians just do their thing. Oh, like. oh okay, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so do yeah. they. Give it up for so the lesbians. They. Round of applause. <laughs> wow, Sam. Well, I'm glad that you showed up this time not shit-faced. Little, yeah, not as much. Not as much. Just a, I was, a, it was last week, it was embarrassing. Yeah, well, you, were, the, you weren't here last, last week. week. Yeah. You weren't here. <laughs> I guess I'm yeah. a little... Yeah. It was so embarrassing. I didn't even make it here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, last time you were here when I was leaving, you were leaning up against a tree. It was a I disaster. I actually tried to wrangle the stray cats outside. Oh, you did? How'd yeah. How'd that go? I didn't catch them, and I was mad. I wanted those cats. Fascinating. Thank you. Wow. Well, Sam, uh, you did as well as you have all three times now, <laughs> which I like because you're, again, like a, lo a lot of the people on this show, I shouldn't say a lot, but some of the people on this show are fucking weird, and I love that shit. And, and you definitely uh, stand out against them. You're not strange at all, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I'm insulted by that. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, Sam, I hope you keep coming back, dude. Great jobs. Good Thank to see you. Thank you so much. Sam Castellanos, folks. <laughs> Let him hear it. He did a joke last time where he was trying to talk about the Chinese government. Who is it? And he tried to he tried to say talk about the uh, the Uyghurs, and he called them the Uyghurs, 
and it was fucking hilarious. And then he couldn't remember the word, and it was a whole fucking thing. Yeah, Sam Castellanos, one more time, yeah. folks. Yes. I Holy still don't shit. know what then the Uyghurs are, is. What is that? Oh, they're they're uh, a Muslim minority in China. Oh boy. And they're oppressed and uh, tortured, and I think all of that. Is that right, Sam? <laughs> Good. All right. Yes. Very nice. Sam's the one to talk to on that. All right. Next comedian coming out of the bucket right here. Up. Oh, he's our friend. He goes by one name again this week, and that name is Julian. Let him hear it yeah. for Julian. <laughs> Julian. All right, Judd. I told the crazy white woman I'll come up here and put her name in the bucket. That ain't on me. She's like, I'm Jewish, we got all the power, it's okay. Uh, <laughs> all right, I don't know. Man, um, Apple, they, um, they just announced their new VR headset. It's going for $3,400. You still won't lose your virginity. That's, uh, that's a bounce out to it. Man, guys, we gotta keep it real for a moment. I think 9-11 was caused because Spider-Man just took the day off. <laughs> I know, man, I'm just, okay, that maybe it was too much, god damn it, I already lost half y'all, man, fuck, you know, they came out with a new one, it's, um, it's a black Spider-Man and Puerto Rican, so he's like the worst of both worlds, <laughs> it was like, you know what, we're going to do this one different from the white one, we're going to keep both his parents alive, <laughs> but then they made a dad a cop, so I don't know, I guess it's like the dad on Family Matters, I guess, man. That's how you know it's fake, though, because how black people still living in Brooklyn? I, don't know. I can't afford that shit. Shit not real, man. Fuck these people. Man, bro, Judd, the whites are at it again. This is... I got to keep updating, y'all. So because of the success of Cocaine Bear, now we're getting Cocaine Coon. That's just a way to tell me it was no niggas in the room. But this was... I, just, I wish I had more to follow up on that. All right. Um, I'm going to end on that one. All right. I'm done. Give it up for Julian, man. Let him hear it. Cocaine Coon. Is, it, is that a real movie? That? Yes. You That's think it'd be crack. <laughs> 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 nah, it's a raccoon. It's, I saw the picture today. It was like a crazy-ass raccoon. Damn, I forgot... I had another joke, man. I just remember. <laughs> well, go ahead and do it. You have another one? Yeah, yeah I did in my shit yeah. early. So, yo, some other shit, bro. Um, <laughs> man, how about today in Vegas, a 74-year-old prostitute retired after 54 years of service. Hats off. Bro. Much respect. 500,000 clients. Bro. Her pussy more reliable than a Honda Civic. <laughs> <laughs> and she smashed four presidents. Bro, Obama had to be one. Okay, that tag sucks. All right, all right, I'm done for real. Thank you. Nice, Julian. Good. Let, her hear it. Let Julian hear it one more time. Yeah. <laughs> I like, uh, that's like a good tagline for you. The whites are at it again. <laughs> Y'all are always. Y'all just, man, move quick. Yeah. I like it, though. It's cool. What, what, what else are the whites doing that you have observed? Man, uh -oh. some other shit. Dude. The AI taking all the orders and the drive through is cool. I know white people invented that because we not moving that fast. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yo, they going to have pork fat used to fly planes. So the plane's not going to be running on pork fat. Yeah, that's some... Huh? <laughs> Bacon planes? <laughs> yes. No, like the plane, not gas, but pork fat. Pork chop airlines? No, it's going to be like Delta, but it's running on pork fat. Wow. Your jokes are like Mad Libs. <laughs> <laughs> That's, well, no, some black people might have invented that, so I'll take that back. Spirit's going to be flying on lard. Uh, <laughs> no, Spirit's going to be flying on Hennessy, because I don't <laughs> Hennessy in a dream, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you know them videos that go viral? Like You always know a spirit when you just look at the back of the seat. When you don't see like no thing to put the little booklet in, I'm like yeah, I just know they on spirit. It's, <laughs> I just it gotta be, but I, I want to fly spirit because it, it does seem reliable. Like maybe not reliable, but cheap, <laughs> and it's like real probably convenient. But my homeboy was like, our plane got delayed because someone stole the tires. I'm like, 
<laughs> oh, damn spirit, huh? Yeah, so I ain't gonna fuck with it. Maybe I don't know one day. I've been drinking on my me. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Well, you know, when you when you're drinking or when you're not drinking, you're just the same tone all the time. <laughs> oh dude. yeah, I heard that all my life. So I yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I like that, man. That's funny. I can't tell if you're fucked up ever. <laughs> oh damn, never mind that. I'm gonna keep <laughs> this going. All right, great. Maybe he smiles more when he's shit faced. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> wonderful smile nah, too. It's yeah, all, man. It's all good. I'm gonna like put the white shirt again on the shirt. I think that's it's that, not bad. That, I'd buy it. Yeah, Hell yeah, I know. I would wear. I would. I shouldn't buy it. <laughs> yeah, the whites are at it again. Oh, I would totally boy. wear that. Yeah. Yeah, when I said cocaine coon, y'all kind of lost it. I don't know if that's a good thing or... <laughs> I'm glad you said it. Right, 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 yeah. Right, yeah, the right. first time I came on here, I forgot why I said coon. He was like, I will not say that word. Or maybe somebody else said it. Don't want me. No, I didn't say that. But he was like, I will not say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn, I shouldn't have said it now. Oh, crap. That's all right, Julian. You can say whatever the fuck you want, man. One mm. of our favorite people comes on this show here, dude. No, oh, thank you. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, man, for sure. Look, <laughs> anything else you want to add before you take off there, Julian? Um, use chat GPT. That's it. All right. One more time for Julian, man. Let him hear it. That's how he got his jokes tonight. Yeah, from chat GPT. Yeah. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> Great stuff, man. All right, folks. We with it. We're here. We're doing it. Yes. All right, man. Keep pressing on. Keep pressing on. All right. Next comedian coming to the stage. He was here last week. This is his third time, I believe, being here. Start clapping right now for Ty Larkins. Let Ty Larkins hear it. Ty Larkins. Hey, everybody. Hey. Dude, I got some jokes for you guys. They've worked all around the country <laughs> in rooms full of lesbians with shirts that say Taylor Swift for president. All right, um, I'm getting fat. I am. Thank you. I'm getting fat. You know you're getting fat when the people you're sleeping with are getting fatter too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh my goodness, who's drinking? Who's drinking tonight? Oh, awesome. Be careful with what you're drinking, okay? I was drinking the other night and I got so drunk, uh, I licked peanut butter off my dog's balls. I did. All right, I don't know how I talked him into it. He wasn't talking me out of it. We're having too much fun. Oh, Scooby, do me, do me. Trying to remember the other jokes. <laughs> Give me a minute. The um, you know what I like on a woman. You want to know hooker? Do you, you don't want to know what I like on a woman? Tickle bitties? No, mm. no, no, no. An ankle monitor. My <laughs> God, that is a sexy look. You know, you get that text that says, "Hey, my parole officer just left," and you just come right over. That sucked. That did suck. That was a um. <laughs> All right, that'll be it. We'll stop there. Ty Larkins, yeah. let him hear it. It's good to see you again, man. It's great to see you, bearded lady. That's good right. To, <laughs> good to see you. It's good to call back. Right. <laughs> so are these uh these are new jokes you're working on? I guess so. Yeah. I guess so. They were good. You got good laughs, man. You should yeah, be happy with that. I know. Yeah. Uh, well, you got a thing with slamming the mic stand on the on the stage. Do you hate that? Well, it's <laughs> it's a little it's a little annoying. I'll stop. Well, no, I'm just saying. Do you do that all the time, or is it like a nervous tick? It's just a nervous tick, Dad. I just to do it. <laughs> I I'm sorry. Don't. Well, I mean, it doesn't offend me or anything, but I just it's noticeable. It feels you know? like Santa's yelling at me right now. I'm, I'm not just yelling. Feeling There's attacked. No yelling. There's no yelling. Okay, thanks. But yeah, but you fidget with the mic stand a lot, which is not a big deal. But then you're the slamming it on the stage. Though. Yeah, that thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not. I'm just saying. Is there I any... get it. I know. All right. Just yeah. after the Christ. show, you can tell me. This, this, <laughs> come on. <laughs> oh no, no, I'm not talking to you after the show. Uh, <laughs> All right. Uh, no, Ty. Uh, yeah. Great job. Uh, last week you yeah. did a great job as well on here. the show. Yep. And uh, we had our friend Kevin Dean as our guest last week. Yes. And uh, just like Ty Larkins, uh, Kevin Dean is a black gentleman. And Kevin oh, Dean yeah. Kevin Dean thought that you were Dominican, yeah. and you didn't like that at I all. I did not. You didn't like that I at all. I said some inappropriate things. 
No, no, no. You didn't say anything inappropriate. You were like, oh. wait, he's just a guest for this week, right? Yeah. We were all like, oh, oh shit. Oh, man. No, he doesn't I don't like think that. any race likes being called Dominican. Mm-mm. <laughs> That's just a That's fact. That's no. probably true. <laughs> Not even Dominicans like being called yeah. Dominican. <laughs> wow. And so... Um, what what was the joke you said about getting fat with somebody that you sleep with? What oh, you know, it? okay, guys, you ready? All right. So <laughs> the joke is, yeah. you know, I'm getting fat. You know, you're getting fat when um, the people you're sleeping with are getting fatter too. Is that your girlfriend you're talking about? No, I'm talking or? about your mom. Oh. <laughs> oh. I don't know how I'm going to recover from that. Oh, oh, really? oh, oh shit. my dog's yeah. been gaining so much weight. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, a good mom joke. It's two out of ten. All right. <laughs> Ty Larkins, like uh, great job. Any, what, what's been going on in the last week since you've been here, man? Oh, man. My dog died, though. Really? I'm not shitting. Yeah. All that Your dog butter. died? Yeah. Oh, He's allergic man. to peanut butter. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Send him up. I fucking killed him. Peanut yeah. allergy on his nuts. Yeah. Wow. Good How dog. How long did you have the dog? Oof. Let's see. 13 years? Something Ooh. Like that. 13 years. Yeah. The dog died. <laughs> Natural causes? Uh, no, shoot out with the cops. Shoot out with the cops. Wow. <laughs> Happens. Bad yeah. dog. Black America, what are you going to do, man? Yep. Bow wow. Well. It was a black lad. Wow. What kind of dog was it, Ty? <laughs> it was a uh, Mexican. All right. I'm just joking. <laughs> awesome. They're called Chihuahuas. <laughs> yeah. It's a Chihuahua German Shepherd. Americans. German Shepherd? Yeah. 13 years. Wow. Yeah. Oh, man. Sorry to hear that. Thank you. But after the mom joke, it makes me happier, dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's a bummer, Ty. Sorry to hear that, dude. I'm a big dog lover, man. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, join me in the dog loving, you know? Yeah. Not <laughs> you love him a little too much, Ty, is what it sounds like. Wow. Well, Ty, I'm so glad you came back again, dude. And, I, and again, I like to remind people, and I forget because I drink. Mm -hmm. Tell me, how long have you been doing comedy? We're at four months. Four Whoa. fucking wow. months. Wow. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Four months. Very good. You're so comfortable on stage. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. That's what we were saying last time. Slamming mic stands. Slamming mic stands. Slamming mic stands, hey, stands. Slamming mic stands like you're a veteran. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, man, great stage presence, good jokes. You're very engaging with the audience, man. You should be proud of that, dude. Thank you. It just warms my heart with you telling me. Yeah. Well, RIP your dog. One more time for Ty Larkins, man. Let him hear it. Great job, dude. Thanks for coming, man. Good job. Ty Larkins. All right. We're going to keep pressing on, folks. We've got a decent amount left in the bucket here. We're going to keep drawing the next name coming out of the bucket right <laughs> here. Up, oh, he's our buddy. He's been here before. Hey. Start clapping for Jay Alvarez. Jay Alvarez. Jay Alvarez. <laughs> What's going on? Ty has the problem I wish I had. I wish more people would confuse me for Hispanic. Everybody's like, oh shit, the white guy's Hispanic? Wow. Yeah. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? Mi nombre es Jaime. We were like, yeah, it's like, I thought it was J. Why does his name start with an H? That happens. That happens. Well, that's going fucking great, guys. Hi. <laughs> All right, what's new? I uh, bought a MetaQuest for my daughter last week. You know, one of those VR headsets. Uh, four days to answer your question. It took me four days to watch porn on it. Uh, not impressed. Not impressed at all. Like, it's a clunky headset. She's right there, which is cool. But that, that's not mine. That's not mine. There's no altered state, there's no altered reality on the earth where that is mine. Not at all. And there's no suspension of belief that it's going to leave me that this little blonde, pretty flower on the screen has this hand packing. Like, it's not, it's not working. Just like this joke. <laughs> God, this is nightmarish. I'm sorry, guys. I'm blown away by, like, the last supper of lesbians upstage. It's like everyone else. <laughs> what I really love is that the leader is the brown one with the straight hair, just like Jesus. That's the best part. <laughs> what are you doing? No, come walk across water. Back to your table. It's fine. No, no, G you are Jesus. You never interrupt. Come, sit down alone amongst your amongst your disciples. <laughs> you look more like Jesus than Jesus. You understand that, right? Like, <laughs> right? Every time I go home, it's like, who's gonna judge you? White Jesus? Like, it's like you, I would love a Hispanic Jesus at the very least. 
Yeah, I know you're brown, but you're not the you're not we're not the same brown. Like I have a Z in my last name, you have like several consonants with no vowels in between. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm the only one that's ever talked to somebody at tech support. <laughs> I would really love it when like he when like when Sam starts announcing his number on the post, just like flash that number at the bottom of the screen, like call now, call now. Jay Alvarez, folks, let him hear it. Yeah. Hi guys. I'm a, I'm a step ahead of you on that suggestion. Thank you. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> Jay, wow. Yeah, that was Does that Yeah, disaster at the front. A little bit, yeah. But then you uh, kind of mixed it up with the crowd, and you got them going. Yeah, hey, you guys were fun. Thanks, Jesus. I yeah, appreciate it. Man. And look, gee, look, Brown fucking over the white people. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> and way, more, way too many white people in here to appreciate that shit. I like yeah. it. That's fine. I mean, way too many white people. I mean, I mean it's a little diverse. No, I think we're outnumbered. A a it's a little Whatever. diverse? <laughs> yeah. Well, quarter. look, I mean, most of the time in here, it's not diverse at all. That's yeah. Fair. So, you know, yeah. It's, it's Cocoa yeah, Village. Like yeah, that's Funny right. how the lack of cocoa in Cocoa Village. I find that, I find that intriguing. The oh. lack of... Oh. It's Cocoa, yeah. Cocoa? You're the darkest one on stage right now. A lot now, of whites. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, my God, yeah, I am the darkest one on stage. Oh, before you. Fuck. Yeah, man. <laughs> I hate white people. <laughs> yeah. Whites are at it again. The whites are at it again. <laughs> They're at it. Yeah, this is a very white stage tonight, even with you up here, Jay Alvarez. I'm sorry that I'm representing most of the Hispanic people because Ty refuses to. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are going to upset Ty. He doesn't fair. like that. He's like, I'm not fucking Dominican. I get oh, it. You no. know who hates being called Dominicans too? Haitians. <laughs> Haitians hate being yeah. called Dominican? You know what Dominicans hate being called What's more than it? anything else? Haitian. Haitian. <laughs> right, right. I love how it's like literally the four Hispanic people are like, hey, Haitian, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, Jay, Yo. you're here with your lovely wife again. I my lovely wife. Yeah. She's a big supporter of yours, doing stand-up comedy. She always comes. Good to see you again, my dear. Much to her chagrin, yes. <laughs> Someone's got to do it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah. trying. Just like you, I'm trying, all right? Thanks. I have a hard time talking to Captain. The last time we met, I found out he's only a couple of months older than my son, and I just can't fucking he's make eye contact. He's a young dude. Uh, I'd be nice. Yeah, I can't make eye like, Well, the thing is, I'm literally old enough to be like other comedians' fathers, and I'm not all right with that. Uh, yeah, Wait a minute. Nice. Like, you... I can't afford a midlife crisis. Like, I don't have the credit for a Corvette. I don't, I don't, I can't afford a mistress. Like, I don't, I can't. Every time I see Captain, I'm just reminded of how old I am. You, okay. You're uncomfortable... <laughs> <laughs> this episode is brought to you by Nervous Breakdown. <laughs> it really <laughs> is. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so are you trying to identify more with the younger crowd? I'm trying to not want to throw myself in front of oncoming traffic when oh, somebody oh, under 20 Jesus. fucking opens their mouth. <laughs> All right. Oh. Wow. Well, that's <laughs> not no, good. It's like, no, I don't understand anything. Like somebody said fleek and I'm like, I thought that word was fucking dead. Why don't I know anything? Wow. This set is not on fleek, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't know what the fuck that means. <laughs> So I think it's funny that you you have a hard time looking Captain Wright in the eye because he's young, but you use your daughter's VR set for porn. No, no, I don't. I don't. I did for two minutes, and that was it. Wow. Like it's really not. It don't. I don't. <laughs> do not recommend. I don't. It's it like it's like you know what the horrible part is like when you're taking like the biggest part I didn't suspect. And this isn't a bit. When I took it off and half expected my wife and daughter to be watching me on the couch. Oh. You know what I mean? Because you never know. It's yeah. like it's that dread like. Oh my God. Okay, it's okay. You said it's the the meta one, the it's meta, the Facebook yeah. one. Yeah, the, I yeah. feel like you'd be like halfway through watching porn, and Zuckerberg would just pop up and be like, "You having fun?" And just freak <laughs> you the fuck out. There's this Zuck in front of you, like I know what you did. <laughs> wow. I did the VR porn thing, but I did it with all my, fr like, I was way off. <laughs> all your friends. Oh, like we all took. Turns. Hey guys, this is how you do it with a controller in your hand. Yeah. <laughs> You all took turns. What do I you mean? I mean, we just wanted to experience it. We none of us touched our wiener, uh, peanut, uh, each cocks. We just like <laughs> wanted to check it out. It's pr it's pretty cool. Wow. Uh, it's not for me. Anyway, you ever start a sentence and wish that? You <laughs> I feel like, yeah, you're like this is me. That was me three minutes ago. Yes, that's been me as soon as I walked up here. <laughs> so you were hanging out with friends and y'all just passed it around. Well, or? W one of them, one of my friends, got a passed VR around? set. So we just wanted to. Try it out. Like a <laughs> VR circle jerk. Hey, this is what wow. Mia Khalifa looks like up close. Wow. Is that yeah. kind of how that went down? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Jay Alvarez. Hey. Yeah, yeah, Jay. Jay. One more time. Yeah. Let him hear it, man. Good to see you, Jay. Take care, man. Likewise. Get that mic in there. Very good. All right. Wow. Weird night. All right. 
We're going to keep pressing on. The next comedian strange, strange, coming out of the bucket here guy. goes by the name of, oh, he's another guy. He's a good friend of ours. Start clapping right now for Anthony Papali. Papali. Anthony Papali. Anthony. Italian. Yeah, Papali. Hey, how we doing? Woo-hoo. Lesbians, hello? Yeah. Big fan of your stuff. WNBA, yeah? Huh? <laughs> Scissoring. You guys, right? Yeah. Big fan. Uh, yeah, I'm at that age now, guys, where... Uh, a lot of my friends are having kids, so I don't get to hang out with them that much anymore, you know? And it kind of sucks, you know? It's kind of like they died, you know? Um, <laughs> mostly because it feels like the next time I'm going to hang out with them will probably be in heaven, you know? And that'll be great. It'll be like the good old times, but then their kids will die eventually and then be in heaven, and then I'll be back to where I started again. <laughs> at an open mic talking about stuff like, hey, I'm at that age again where my friend's kids are dying, you know? <laughs> That's going to suck. <laughs> you guys think heaven's cool? You guys think it's probably cool up there? Or do you think like they go up to heaven and people just watch you all the time? My mom, my mom told me the other day like my great aunt died, and I was like, ah, oh, that sucks. And she was like, don't worry, she's up there watching you. And I was like, ooh. <laughs> Hope she likes my one-man show called Touching Myself to Sleep at Night. Yeah? <laughs> Starring me, Touching Myself to Sleep at Night. That'd be crazy if you get up to heaven and you're like, what do you guys do up here? And some guy hands you popcorn. And he's like, we're about to watch a home invasion. You better buckle up. <laughs> that, would, that would suck. That would suck, man. Uh, new joke I'm working on. Uh, you guys know how people kill themselves by, like, cop, like suicide by cop? That's crazy, man, that that's, like, the only profession that people use to kill themselves by, you know? Like, it'd be crazy if people started doing, like, other professions, you know? Like, suicide by Domino's delivery driver would be pretty cool. The only problem is you'd have to convince him to kill you, you know? He's like, hey, I'm here to deliver your pizza. And you're like, you're here to do a little bit more than that, pal. (laughs) You toss him a gun and call his mom a whore and just pray to God he kills you. (laughs) All right, that's all I was working on. Anthony Papali. Let him hear it, folks. Thank you. Well, I know you don't like compliments. Don't do it. I know, you hate it. Great set. It <laughs> sucked. Thank you. Yeah. It was a good set, dude. You got, I mean, you have not done one joke a second time on this I'll, show. I won't do it here, no. No, nah. and you've you've been to every show, I think, except one. Except one, yeah. And just fucking kicking ass, dude. I so guess, good, yeah, man. I'm Funny stuff. Let him hear Thank it, you. folks. Amazing. Oh, Come okay. on, man. You don't have to. Nice. I appreciate that. Thanks. Well-crafted jokes. You stayed in the pocket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you want to just shit on him? Because that's what he likes. Yeah, Yeah. just shit all over him. (laughs) Yeah, hey, 20 on pump four, please. Oh, there you (laughs) go. There you go. Some Indian (laughs) jokes. Yeah, coming right up, sir. (laughs) Hey. There we go. Aziz, I'm sorry I (laughs) ever met you. Uh, Oh, there we go. That's what I like. A bunch of white guys up here. It's like Captain Wright and the Alt Rights. You know, that's fine. That's a good band. Yeah, I like that. Captain Uh, Wright and the Alt Rights. That was a good one. Yes, nice. Uh, yeah. Boston hat on. Are you have a oh, affiliation? is this Boston? I thought it meant bigot. That's why I wore it. That's why I thought it. Uh, uh. Bigot. I mean, that's what Boston is. It anyway, stands right? for boring. It works for both. <laughs> that's true. You're a Boston fan. You're not from Boston. Nah, right? I just bought the hat. I think it's a popular nice. hat, right? <laughs> I honestly, I don't watch baseball or anything. Great job. Great job. What's been going on since you were here last week? Nothing. Nothing. I th- honestly, I feel like I got off stage last time and then just came right back <laughs> up. That's, it. that's yeah. how it is when you're famous, yeah. dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm bringing all the Indian followers, right, to the show. That's this nice. is the thing, and, I, and somebody them. referenced it earlier. I don't know why. We got tons of Indian people Huge listening Indian. to this yeah. podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Indian. Are you in your... Oh. Ah. That's my least favorite part of India. She is what? Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Indian, and she applauds, but she's from the Caribbean. Wow. Mm. No, I, mean, I, I have no idea. There's just, we just have a lot of Indian They love listeners. the format, yeah. honestly. The Kill Tony I, format. I guess that's it. Indians Ma- maybe love they're the format. <laughs> and White Castle. Ah. Yeah. No, one of them does. I'm not yeah. sure about that one. But maybe they like that you're on the show each time. Maybe. You think that has Did the viewers drop Ooh, when I yeah. wasn't on last week? Or? I don't know the answer to that. They might have. It could be. But yeah, who knew? We have a lot of... It's mainly the United States and India and like uh, 40 people in Belgium. Oh, boy. Figure that out. I Shout have no out idea Belgium. why. Yeah, yeah, I have no idea. So maybe you are helping our Indian uh, I'm trying my best. Man. Great. I've got one out here. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Half one, maybe. Very good. 
So nothing much over the last week since you were here. You have just felt like it blew past. I'm just doing comedy, whacking off, hanging out. Nice. Fuck yes. That's all I do. In that order? That's a pretty now, good Now mix line. it up. <laughs> mix it up. Sometimes I whack off more than I hang out. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> so what, what comedy uh, shows did you do this past weekend then? I did a show in Bradenton, Florida. Bradenton? Okay. Yeah. Yucky. How was that? She is all right. Yeah? Yeah, and I don't know Indian people there. Mm. No Indian people. No. Your people weren't there. No. Wow. I don't do well in front of Indians, actually. Really? Indians don't like. What is it? Uh, what do they like? I want to appeal to that Indian crowd. You got? Can you do the accent? I'm they not going to do it on a podcast. It's going to go all over the place. There. But it's popular <laughs> in India. To it, I, but I can do it. And so you might be canceled here, but <laughs> Bombay, dude. Do you do the accent? No, I don't like to do it really. I'll do it for fun every once in a while, and then do I do. Do you do other accents? <laughs> you guys are pretty close to China. You can whip that one out real quick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, maybe next episode. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll think you. about it. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony's uncomfortable. That's all. I love it. I love I it. I can do a good Indian accent. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. <laughs> How? Uh, uh, I thought that was pretty funny. Thanks. That's good. Wow. Wow and how. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this crowd just doesn't get my shit. <laughs> I do. That was funny as shit. I, th- I thought it was great. Yeah. Indian yeah. accent. He says how. Y'all didn't laugh. Yeah. Y'all, yeah. y'all are the problem. That was funny. It's like I'll, I just have to find my audience. It's true. That's true. Uh, Anthony, again, I tell you this every time. I'm so glad you come to this show each week. I'm glad it's here. And uh, you were on uh, a couple weeks ago. You were on the Space Coast Comedy Showcase on yeah, Thursday. Yeah, fun. Fucking killed it there, dude. Killed yeah, it, dude. Thank killed you, it. Jimmy. Great joke writer. Great ah, comedian. You guys. Thanks for being here. Thank Keep it going so for Anthony right, Papali, thank you. man. <laughs> Anthony Papali, let him hear it. It's really good. Great job, man. Great set, man. Good stuff. Yes. He just keeps getting better and better. Better and better. All right. Next comedian coming to the stage goes by the name of Zach Porter. Oh. Zach Porter's back again. Zach Porter. You guys ready for 120 seconds of unmitigated gay and lesbian jokes? These glasses can help me see, but I can't read the room with them. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Recently, I quit vaping, and it's turned driving, which was the most fun thing in my life, into my least favorite thing to do. Now, every mile an hour someone drives under the speed limit is another letter they sign on their death certificate. I swear to fucking God. It's going to be the highway of death, straight from Iraq, trail of blood, on I-4, back to Orlando. And I just fucked up my own joke. (laughs) It only costs $2 to look up someone's address from their license plate, so you guys better fucking laugh. (laughs) I'm just kidding, guys. uh, Since quitting vaping, I had to pick up a hobby. Uh, My newest hobby is fireworks making. This nice Middle Eastern guy is teaching me how to make fireworks in the back of a 7-Eleven. I had no idea there were so many nuts and bolts and screws and ball bearings and nails that go into making uh, fireworks. It's crazy. He calls this one the flower of death. (sighs) I'm really looking forward to that one. Inshallah. (laughs) I'm trying to get a government job. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of gang stalking. Gang stalking is where the government pays agents to follow around people for no reason, really. Usually schizophrenics. I'm in the minor leagues right now. We just call that stalking. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, is that my time? Ten seconds. Uh, zero one one zero one one zero 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 one. Shout out my non-binary people. <laughs> Zach Porter, ladies and gentlemen, let him hear it. Hell yeah. Let him hear it. Zach Porter. Zach Porter. He's having a panic attack. Jimmy's, Jimmy's kicking microphones because he has to go to the bathroom every time. Wait Zach Porter. It's good to see you again, Zach. Hey. Good to see you again. This is your second time on the show here. Yes. The first time you were here, you didn't really do jokes. You talked about sponsors that you really <laughs> didn't have. No, I have those sponsors. Oh, you do? You're yes. still sticking with that? Yeah. Right. 
uh, some of it was funny, but most of it was a little fucking weird. But you uh, fucking had <laughs> consistent laughs tonight doing jokes, dude. That feels good, right? Yeah, I had a friend. He told me, uh, all of your jokes right now are just TikTok bits. You should do real jokes. What a concept, huh? Uh, so I, di- I tried it tonight. Nice. You did it well, dude. Yeah. You did very well on that, man. You got mm-hmm. consistent laughs. Feel good? Did you feel that? Like, I mean, you know, it was a lot better than last time, right? I feel like uh, I'm kind of hungry. Anybody want to get stalked? I don't know. I'm what the up. hell? I don't know. <laughs> Still trying material. Uh, what, yeah. is it, what does it mean that you're in the minor leagues? You can't just go around telling people that. Well... <laughs> You, that's how you gotta you gotta get recognized. You gotta get discovered. You know? Oh, by like Dateline. Okay, I got you. Yeah, <laughs> right. Exactly. I got you. <laughs> that's when you hit it big. Yeah, you want to be discovered as a comedian? Is that what you're referencing? No, a stalker. Oh, a stalker. You want to be discovered? Okay, right. Orlando <laughs> Slasher. Oh Orlando Slasher. God. Boy, what a crowd pleaser. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna get played back in a couple of years. The Gambler the News. <laughs> yes, the news. it's gonna this be played in the courtroom and one day. Hey, West Two right. News, what's up, big fan? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Episode eight will be at the trial, I think. Yeah. <laughs> wow, Zach. No, man. I mean, a uh, 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 real one eighty that uh, compared to last time, man. Thanks. I mean, last time it was almost equally as weird as it was tonight. But tonight you had actual jokes and people were laughing. Thank Whereas you. Whereas last time you're just rattling off things and nobody knew what was going on. <laughs> you were wearing some sort of like sweater shirt that was weird. Uh, it was very peculiar. That was from Hollister and it's very nice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hollister is a pretty cool. Yeah, that is pretty good. Clothing. So company. Zach, remind me, you're an Orlando guy? I'm from the Big O. The Big O. <laughs> Still doing material. The Big O, and you have not been doing comedy very long, correct? I've been about 11 weeks. 11 weeks, is that true? Weeks. Yeah, it was like, I think it was like seven the last time I was here. It was like four or five weeks so, ago. So 11 weeks, that's all he's been doing, folks. Let him hear it, man. <laughs> Definitely a good turnaround from last time, dude, for sure. Thank you. You've been getting up a much. lot, doing, doing stand-up a lot? Yeah, yeah, I have. Uh, probably five nights a week. I was going six nights a week, but definitely don't, you know, you don't want to get burnt out, kind of, like, Orlando is very good for stand-up because there's a lot of days where there's multiple mics. You know, you can go back to back. And some of those rooms are fucking empty. And so it's kind of like... How long is this story going to (laughs) go? And I realized... And then... Well, no, man, you should you should definitely keep getting up, dude. I mean, that... Yeah, I'm I'm really surprised. When I saw you were here tonight, I was like, oh, fuck. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I was like, here he goes again with his sponsors and shit, you know, yeah. whatever he's done. What are you sponsored by? I'm going to fucking do it, gun shop. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was one of them. That the, was the, a lot of words really fast. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, he, had ra- he had random yeah, sponsors <laughs> he was just bellowing out, and oh, that was cool. a stand-up set. Yeah, nice. it was yeah, and there, funny. Yeah, do you have an AA sponsor? AA sponsor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually... Almost. I don't know. He's like, I I love batteries. (laughs) 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 No, I don't have (laughs) Well, Zach Porter, man, I'm very impressed with how well you turned that around since the last time you were here. Good jokes. Got a lot of laughs throughout. You're still fucking weird, but, you know, (laughs) that's cool, man. That's compelling. What, you didn't like his jokes? No, I liked them. Oh, okay. You were peeing. I was peeing, but I I know I peed after your set. Oh yeah. So I caught it. It was good. Keep, Thank you. Keep doing. Keep uh. Keep keep going. <laughs> Thank you, Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely, man. But all seriousness, I mean, that was uh, 180 from the last time. Good jokes. You got consistent laughs. Keep doing it, man. Keep going. Funny stuff. Keep it going for Zach Porter, man. Thank you. Let him hear it. Good job, Zach. It's good to see you. All right. A lot of weirdos. Yeah. But I love it. I mean, the more the merrier. That's the way I see it. All right. The next comedian coming to the stage. You know, a lot of these comedians, I've said, they're our friends because they've been on this show multiple times. And this next guy is another one. He's our other guy out of Daytona. Start clapping right now for Tim Blaylock. Yeah, Tim. Tim Blaylock, do it. Woo. Tim Blaylock. Who the fuck put this mic stand this high? Comedy fucking sucks, you guys. 
It does. I mean, don't look at me like that, Sebastian. <laughs> Making people laugh is cool and everything, but like today I thought of this premise and then I couldn't write it down because I was driving and then I fucking completely forgot it and it's been bothering me ever since and that's fucked up. That feels like a mental miscarriage. You know what I mean? This is great. Hell yeah. Let me go back to the semen retention stuff. You guys like that last week? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, the mental miscarriage thing. I'm going to keep on that because I had another idea for it. Uh, <laughs> sometimes that happens, but other times the thought is just too retarded to release upon the world. So then you become like an, uh, an artistic eugenicist. Eugenicist, right? I'm fucking up tonight, you guys. It's almost like I'm not retaining my semen anymore or something. Uh, you become an artistic eugenicist and you gotta abort the joke. This fucking sucks. <laughs> I had this whole spiel about even when you're writing a joke about a premise, you have to write an abortion joke because you're an asshole. I don't fucking know anymore, you guys. I'll just go into other shit. Uh, a lot of like kids, like Zoomers and shit, are ta they talk about post-nut clarity a lot. You know? You guys know what I'm talking about, right? But the only thing that I get post-nut is depression. <laughs> they talk about blasting rope, but the only thing I want to do after I blast rope is hang myself with said rope. <laughs> Alright, it's going a little bit better now. That's okay. <laughs> I, uh, I am still retaining my semen. Yeah, that's a thing. One second, Judd. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, I don't remember the rest of it. <laughs> cool. Tim Blaylock, Tim folks. Blaylock, yeah. Hell yeah. Let him hear it. I loved your closer. I am still retaining my semen. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. good. You got everyone excited as soon as you said that, and then you and bailed then you on bailed, it. Just yeah, like, I fucking uh, forgot you what I was us. talking about. Yeah. yeah, fuck, my balls hurt. <laughs> <laughs> so this was uh, what you brought up last week. You are still uh, doing the SR, semen retention? I am. It doesn't seem to be working anymore, Judd. <laughs> you seem upset. What is it supposed to do? If it's I don't working? know. It's supposed to manifest good things, obviously. That's no, it's not, not working. I know. I know. Well, he, he, okay. It was giving him clarity. It was giving him... It was, you it, just seem... He was feeling right. better. He was dressing different than he were before. You feeling good? I'm still feeling good, but, you know, I... The semen made you dress like that? Yeah. You yeah. got to jerk off, dude. <laughs> yeah. You got to let some of that stuff yeah. out. Well, no, the only part of this ensemble that's from semen retention is wearing sunglasses on my head, which <laughs> oh. I should do away with. No, here. that is pretty sick. Okay. I like it. That's yeah, pretty badass, you. dude. I appreciate it. Yeah. Nice. Wow. I'm back. So I'm you're back, back, you guys. Hell yeah. Yeah, definitely. Got your white shoes on again. Yeah. That was part of your SR, dressing a little bit it's differently. It's a purity thing. Yeah, it's a purity, purity thing. Purity, nice. Yeah. Because, again, like we mentioned last week, I, I always like to mention that the first time you came on here, you were wearing your shorts. With, yeah. Yeah, with uh -huh. your crack pipe legs. Uh-huh. Oh. Yeah. On stage. It wasn't. It doesn't look good, you guys. Yeah. And you were not happy with how that looked in the video, from what I recall. No, no. No, uh, right. Very round torso. <laughs> I look like two corn dogs got fused in the fryer. Oh. It's not good. All right. It's not good. All right. Wow. Well, I mean, you're looking. I mean, just t-shirt jeans looking good. You got your uh, skinny jeans on. It looks. Yeah, like. I look great. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Thank you. That's nice. Thank you. All right. How are things in Daytona since last week? Uh, they haven't been good since Bike Week '94. Hey, check this hey. out. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, no, it's going okay. It's going okay. Um, I just. This is pretty fucking crazy. I just uh, came. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. Um, yeah. I had, <laughs> I was picked for, for a curatorial scholarship to curate like a photography exhibit. So that opened last week and that was cool. There was like 50, 60 people there. No big deal. They were like 10 year fucking great. All right. Yeah. What does it mean to curate the pictures exactly? Uh, you get to pick what goes up. Oh, you Ooh. pick what goes up. Yeah. So you're just judging other people's. It's the best. What did they, how is it that you have the experience for them to ask you to do this? I work at the photography museum on campus. Oh, So I okay. applied for the scholarship and then I had to go through all of that. What was your favorite picture? Um... Somebody ejaculating. <laughs> I was trying. I was trying to think of a funny one, but Man, <laughs> there is. There's not really any funny ones. Uh, there was this picture called "Traveler Unknown." The artist was Vladimir Serdyuk, 
and it's just a little Fucking Russian oh, yeah. story. He's Ukrainian, yeah. Oh. Oh, man. Shit. Same thing. Not going to uh. work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yikers. <laughs> Like, hey, this guy's already had it pretty rough. We're going to yeah, put his yeah. picture in the fucking museum. No, it was just a little kid on the beach, but it was like, I don't oh. Know. Well, that's hilarious, to get, Tim. I don't yeah. need to get into yeah. the that's, yeah. well, that's weird. Wow. It's a little yeah. weird to bring up with the semen so, retention. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. So how much longer are you going to keep going with the semen retention? That's the real question. As long as it takes. long as it takes? Yeah. What's the objective? Nocturnal emission. Ah, what <laughs> does that mean? Um, wet <laughs> dreams. You probably still have them, Cap. Oh, yeah, all the time. Yeah. <laughs> About your mama. All right, we're still going. Uh, I'm tired, yes. My mom's been married four times. You don't want to... Oh, I do. Oh. oh, I do. She met her third you husband. You see the shirt, pal? I don't care about how many times a bra. You look married. like a few of my stepdads, <laughs> actually. <laughs> <laughs> you do. Yeah, he's got his hunting shirt on. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Hunting and for that pussy. Patches. I didn't realize that. Wow. <laughs> all right. It's very impressive. We're getting sleepy. Well, Tim, I'm uh, so, so glad every time you come to this show, dude, Great job. Some days are better than others, but that's an open mic, man. That's yeah, I had what a bomb is. here sometime. I wouldn't say it's a bomb, but yeah, it, you, no. it was better last week. Yeah, you it know? was. Yeah. You, you changed directions and changed up the jokes a little bit. Got some laughs at the end. Yeah. It's only two minutes, man. Did Maybe great. think about it a little bit more before I say it. And oh, yeah. There you go. That <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, it was well, fun, though. Definitely. Well, you and old Roy get the fuck out of here and go back to Daytona. Yeah, yeah. We're living Tim right Blaylock, now, one more time, man. Let him hear it. Let him hear it. Oh, 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 oh. All right, we just got a couple more left, folks. The next comedian coming to the stage goes by the name of Troy Yates. Troy Yates, he's in the back, so start clapping. Keep clapping for Troy Yates. Let him hear it. What's up, guys? I want to talk about something important, and that is police violence. June 2010, I'm in an adult kickball league, and I bunt and immediately get booed by everybody. So I do the only thing that there is to do in this situation, run to first and moon everyone. The police that we're playing, the Winter Haven police, whoever that was earlier, (laughs) are not happy. They come out onto the field and tell me that I'm indecent and not to do it again. It's fine. So now I'm running around third to home and I start Dion Sanders high stepping down the baseline. Well the catcher decides that she wants to cross the baseline when the ball's nowhere near where the fuck I am. So I run into her, knock her on the ground. We both get up. The pitcher, who is a cop, is walking towards me with a very angry look on his face and he punches me. Police violence. When I roll the fuck over and look All of my teammates are Taekwondo masters, and Charlie is side flying, side kicking this guy in the chest, and the dugout clears in a full on brawl between a group of people called the Balls Deep Boys and the Winter Haven Police Department. (laughs) It was a fucking mess, you guys. There were police everywhere. And because he punched me first, we didn't get in any trouble. And that's it. Yeah. Troy Yates. Let him hear it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Troy Yates, nice to meet you, Troy. Thank you, nice to meet you as well. Talked to you briefly before the show. Yeah, just a little. I thought you were a random uh, audience member. You said no, I signed up. I signed up, yep. How long have you been doing stand-up comedy? So I did it for like six months pre-pandemic, and then open mics closed. And then I haven't been back since. This is my first time. This is your first time oh. since it? Woo! Yeah. Come on, folks. Let oh, him hear yeah. it. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Is that a true story you just told? Yes, that was a true story. Wow. Okay. That is kind of my style of storytelling, so I was a little bit nervous about condensing shit to two Put minutes. Put that microphone a little bit further, closer yeah. to your mouth yeah. there. Is this close enough? How do you know so many Taekwondo <laughs> masters? They just, we just, it's, so it's in Plant City. We lived in Plant City, and, and oh, Plant yeah, City a lot of them in Plant basically City. a small town. And so everyone grew up together. Okay. And they all just started doing Taekwondo. One of them owned a Taekwondo studio. and. I mean, would, hell yeah. So was the Taekwondo master white? Yeah, all of them were white. Weird. <laughs> all, there were zero Koreans involved. Zero. In taekwondo. Wow. <laughs> Is Taekwondo a Korean thing? Yes. I guess I'm racist. All right. I can tell by your shirt that you are, in fact, oh, racist. Yeah, I am. Oh, yeah. Real redneck <laughs> over here. Yeah. Uh, I'm the one from Kentucky. You should be in the other position. I, I didn't know I'm racist. not from Kentucky. I can tell. 
You're from Kentucky? Because I'm not actively fucking my sister, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's why. That's how exactly. he can tell. And just, no, so, Alabama's uh, sisters, cousins is Kentucky. Oh, uh, we're classy all right. in Kentucky. Very good, Troy. All right, quick flex. So, you, <laughs> <laughs> so you're from Kentucky, and you yeah. live where now? Rockledge. You live in Rockledge. Yeah. How long have you lived in Florida? Most of my life. So, like, 1995, we moved here, so... I've you know, however long that was ago. Okay. All right. <laughs> but you're, you see, still say you're from Kentucky. I was born there. You're born there. Some formative uh, kid shit happened over there. Oh, boy. Oh, well. Yeah. Not molestation. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> Tony Hinchcliffe. <laughs> the last three comedians and kid stuff has not been good. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you did stand-up comedy for six months before the pandemic. Yes. And how did, where were you doing stand-up comedy during that six months? Just at open mics. Open um, mics? Wednesday, they had an open mic. And then, uh, by, I don't know, they changed to Apocalypse Coffee or some shit. Oh, okay. That's All right. That's it. Open mics coffee lounge. Yeah. Yes. All right. So you did that before the pandemic, <laughs> and this tonight is your first time doing stand-up since the pandemic. Yes. Wow. All right, yeah. man. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you came here uh, to do stand-up for the Thank first you. time since it. then. Um, uh, the story was uh, 85% boring as shit. That happens. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but you just got to put more laughs in it. It's yeah. a fun, interesting story, especially if it's true. It is true. It's a better story with a five-minute uh, I doubt uh, it. I doubt, <laughs> I doubt, it. So. I doubt <laughs> it. Who There's wants to no hear him way. do the five minute story? <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. Settle in, folks. Uh. <laughs> but no, I mean, but this is, like you said, your first time since, you know, before the pandemic. That's a fun story. There, there I, I think you'll be able to get some good jokes out of that. You just yeah, got to put, it. you just got to put some more laughs in there. Well, I mean, the taekwondo. Yeah, do yeah. Korean accent when you say taekwondo. Yeah. Good idea. I'll do yeah, that. I'll do that. Do that. <laughs> we can do that in Kentucky. <laughs> All Try right. it right now. <laughs> Korean. Ooh, I'm Kore- I don't know. Oh, there you Japanese. go. Hell yeah. Christ Almighty. That sounds Japanese. Don't my worry. Bad. He doesn't have a it career to ruin. <laughs> right. Hey, I'm in an interracial relationship. It's fine. Oh, Is you are Korean. No, she's Honduran, but it's fine. Oh, yeah. Honduran. Close yeah. enough. Oh, yeah, okay. It's the same <laughs> thing. Yeah. As what? As other minorities. Oh, uh, just keep talking. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so your lady's Honduran. How long have you been together? 11 years. Whoa. 11 years? Yeah. Married fellow? Not yet. We're getting married on the 18th. Nice. Oh, come on. Well, congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. The 18th. Wow. Lucky, very nice. Wo- lucky woman. How did you meet your Honduran lady? At a bar. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Yep. Where did you where where did you meet her at a at bar? At Millican's in the port. We were the only two people not drinking, which I don't know if you believe that or not, but yeah, yeah, you're holding based a off glass tonight. of alcohol. <laughs> yeah. You took your shot, you're wearing flip flops on stage, you don't give a fuck. Yeah. Really. I was gonna wear shorts, but I listen to the podcast and I heard some shit. Yeah, shorts. right. Oh, yeah, you, so you're like flip flops will still be good though. <laughs> like, <right. laughs> yeah. If they're making fun of shorts, flip flops. I'm not gonna come in here and be uncomfortable. It's a Florida thing, man. It's Shoes. a Florida thing. Yeah. yeah, so you're gonna make all of us uncomfortable instead by wearing flip flops. <laughs> yes, all I'm right. a selfish yeah, asshole. Got you, got One your guy dogs gets out it. On, <laughs> got your dogs out on stage. Wow, well Troy, I again, man, I'm I'm uh impressed that you're this is your first time doing it since uh the, before the pandemic yeah and again funny story crank in the laughs in there get okay. some funny shit in there All right. you know you, you can't have too many laughs in that that's an interesting story uh. i mean you know and especially since it's true the true stories are the ones that get the best laughs uh-huh. like because if there's like a, a, a uh. seed of truth in it you don't think so oh no i'm just oh, listening yeah. oh yeah but he's just moaning. About it. <laughs> he just really likes your voice. That's all. But that's it. I mean, th- that's something that's true. So you you know it's true. You deliver it as it's true, and people believe it. But that story, you've got plenty of room to just crank in a lot yeah. of laughs. And that's in there, the first man. time I've told that story because I can condense it. The other stories I have are like much more involved and detailed. And right, Ooh. like we got robbed for a beer one time at gunpoint. Ooh, and tell that's that a one. Story. Yeah, tell that. Where did you get robbed? <laughs> you got robbed for beer. Yeah, in a in double white trailer. And <laughs> where? In a double white trailer. Whoa. So the you had beer were... in the double wide trailer, yeah, and some people came in uh-huh. to rob you. Yeah, so they came to the door, okay. and we're a party group, and so they knocked on the door and was like, "Hey, is Chris here?" Chris was not fucking there, uh-huh. but we just figured the more the merrier, so let him come in. What? And as we were, ah, oh, tuned yeah, out you again. Just let strangers what? in your house. What? Fuck! I keep doing. Because like, they can fucking party too. When you grow up in Tampa, the Tampa area, you're. This is true. It's a wild place to grow up. Yes, it is. <laughs> anyway, so, so they had guns and they wanted to rob you for your beer. Yeah, so it went downhill because one of my buddies was talking shit, 
And then <laughs> it went downhill because the trailer is parked on an incline. <laughs> <laughs> and then they got pissed off, and then they oh, sc- started screaming, "Grab the 12!" And we thought they meant a 12 pack of beer, and we're like, "Yeah, grab the fucking 12." Uh, it was a 12 gauge <laughs> shotgun. Oh, they had a 12 gauge shotgun, shotgun with shotgun, them. And then they robbed us for beer. Just, just walking around the thing. trailer park with a 12 gauge no, shotgun. No, it's in the middle of nowhere. So it's not a trailer night. park. It's just like an empty lot oh. with a trailer. What kind on of beer it. was it that they robbed you? Bud oh. Light. Oh, okay. Bud Light. <laughs> yeah, they were real beer uh, So they're like, hand over the beer. Yeah, we had, yeah. Very we progressive. Maybe, nice. We had like 30 Bud Lights and we yeah. had like Whoa. 200 Natties. They could have gotten a lot more beer if they were less picky. Oh, so after they robbed you, you still had beer left. Yeah, and we didn't know what to do, so we just kept nice. drinking. What the fuck is going on in that trailer <laughs> out there, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's a crazy trailer. Wow. That's a crazy shit. Yeah, I would imagine so. We used to jump the bonfire on New Year's Eve naked. It was just a thing that we did. Why wow. were you naked? That's some white people shit. Because it's more fun to jump something. The naked. whites are at it again, Julian. <laughs> the, whites the whites are at it again. The whites are at it again. Get the right. ball hair singed. Love jumping over fires. Well, <laughs> you've already referenced uh, three now stories that I think would be good for comedy, yeah. for jokes. So yeah. get writing. Get those laughs in there. Crank them in. Try to get a laugh every couple sentences, man. And All right. I think you'll have something there. Keep it going for Troy Yates, man. It's his first time since pre-pandemic. Troy Yates. Nice job, Troy. All Hell right. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. All right, folks. The next comedian coming to the stage. This is his second time uh, performing on this show. And he's out of Orlando, from what I remember. Start clapping right now for Zach Arthur. Yeah. Let Zach Arthur hear it. Oh, there we go. Hey, how's it going, everybody? So uh, I get usually asked like, if I'm in a relationship or if I'm married or something. I usually just tell them uh, I'm lonely. That's usually when I said, yep, yep, I'm lonely. Yeah. Uh, I actually uh, just Googled how to make a bomb so I'd be on someone's list. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun. It's fun. This is fun. This is great. Yeah. So uh, recently, uh, shit. (laughs) Shit. Oops. I forgot all my jokes. It just happened. Hello, everybody. All right, cool. So uh, recently, uh, I, I, anybody have a single mother growing up? All that good stuff? Okay, good. So I've noticed that, especially having a single mother, you have some feminine traits. Like for me, uh, I like candles. I like them way more than any straight guy should, right? I'm going into a home goods store. That's the first trait right there. And then I'm going up to a candle, and I'm just like, Mm, that's really good. I really like that. It's so good. Uh, so, yeah, that's. So thank God my mom ended up dying, so I didn't go full gay. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's sad. All right. <laughs> uh, I've also been thinking about sucking cock recently. Uh, that's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm sucking cock. So, but I've always like I've never done it. But I think that like the person, right, wherever they're from, I am assuming it tastes kind of like their ethnic background, right? So, so imagine you got a Mexican guy, right? So is it like spicy chorizo and green cards, or if he's maybe like from from Italy, it's just breadsticks and olive oil. Or he's from Ukraine and depression and sorrow. Thank you. I'm Zach Arthur. Woo! Zach Arthur, ladies and gentlemen. Let him hear it. Woo! You look like a proud boy and proud to have sex with boys. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of feel that way, too. No. No, I'm not a racist. Um, just gay. I'm No. No. Wait. I'll, it's June. Yes, I am. Sure. Are you actually gay? Every, no. No. Oh, no. But okay. for this month, so I get more laughs, and that's about it. Okay. Yeah. I, I guess. Yeah. If you can't get laughs normally, you got to do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I went gay. Can you do this mean. thing again? <laughs> <laughs> right. So you're not, or you are thinking no, about not. sucking I'm cock? I'm, 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 oh, also thinking about sucking nervous. cock. Yes. yes <laughs> I do. You are. Every once oh, in a while. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. do? Yeah. What, what makes you think about sucking cock? Uh, whenever I get up on stage, I just start thinking about sucking cock. Uh, well, what also, like sometimes I'll just be in bed and I just want, like, want something to do, to be honest. I'm just kind of <laughs> bored. No, that's actually pretty smart because most people on stage are like, let's just imagine them in their underwear. Yeah. You take it a step forward. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm sucking all the cocks. I'm getting real intimate. I'm, I'm getting to know you guys. You guys have big dicks. Fucking, it's huge. Jeez, it's crazy. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah. You are... <laughs> Hi. Very interesting. Now, the last time you were here, you were talking about 
uh, random women that you hooked up with. Yeah. You nice. never mentioned anything about potentially sucking cock. No, <laughs> usually they didn't have cocks at the time. So, however, it is 2023, so we can change that. Things um, are different yeah. nowadays. Have yeah. you ever had a gay experience? No. Uh, no, I don't think so. There was I, a hesitation. I got, I got my ass touched in high school by another dude, that but that was about gay. it. Yeah, oh, it was okay. weird. I was like sitting down in cooking class, and then he was like just cooking class. Well, it's yeah. cooking, good looking. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> literally. <laughs> nice buns. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was a little less fat then, so I was still attractive. Right. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he just grabbed your ass? No, he just rubbed it just like that. Just it was rub. really interesting. Wow. Oh. Just a little clockwise. Yeah, yeah, a little, yeah. yeah, a little wax on, a little wax off <laughs> kind right. of thing. Yeah. Did you pull away or stay there? I kind of stayed there. I was like, <laughs> am I? I don't know. I am. Like, let's figure it out. You know, so we know. just stayed here for a little bit. Wow. You said Mexican dicks taste like chorizo and green cards. Yeah. What do green cards taste like? <laughs> kind of like plastic. Chorizo. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of plastic, a <laughs> little, really so. little bit of hop on the border. I don't know. Uh, a little chili. I don't know. Chili. <laughs> <laughs> now, Zach, when you were here last time, you told us that you work out at the Space Center. I do. I do. I work over Whoa. there. Oh. Yeah. You're a, uh, uh, you called yourself a monkey with a wrench? Basically, that's all I do. I just... I bang things and Hell I make yeah. them work somehow and I haven't gotten fired. Yeah, he's like, my first big job was Challenger. Yeah. No, yeah. No. <laughs> right. No, <laughs> God. God. Followed up by Discovery. Right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And so you're, you're from Washington State, you mentioned last time. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm from there. It's and nice you, and cold there. Right. And you love living in Florida? It's okay. Uh, the people are much better. The people yeah. are way better, but it's it's too fucking hot. It's always too fucking hot. Like you guys are like, oh, it's sixty degrees. It's so great. I'm like, I'm, I'm still hot. I'm still hot. Like Whoa. it's forty degrees up there normally all the time. Right. So that's what I'm used to. It's fat guy weather. I yeah, understand. exactly, I exactly. Understand. And I'm walking around with fucking this, so it's not a fun time. Ever. You said the people are better. What are the people like in Washington? Uh, like if you're talking to someone and they don't talk back ever, like that's that's what it's that's what it's like up there. Wow. Like, yeah, they're they're rough. Uh, if you, in Seattle, if you get out of Seattle, they're just fine. Sasquatches. They're good people. Yep. Okay. Sasquatches. Yeah. Lots of Sasquatches. Wow. Zach, I swear to God, man. And again, <laughs> it's okay. You guys are gonna help me out. I, here I mean, there's. <laughs> I'm I'm still caught up on the potentially sucking dick thing. I mean, that's yeah. that's newsflash compared to what you were talking about last time. Yeah, yeah, it's it was pretty cool. You're, you're, I feel like you're open to whatever happens at this. Yeah, point, let's huh? just let's just find out. Let's do it. Yeah, let's figure it out. Are you are you trying to seek this out in any? No, way? not really. I'm just gonna th see what happens. Like some dude just says, "Ah, suck my dick," and I'll be like, "Ah, I, I guess, fuck. Why not? I guess I got to do it. You fucking." He told me to do it, so I gotta fucking do it. That's, ah, that's like my dick. Yeah, that's uh, all it takes, <laughs> right? That's all it takes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Holy shit. I think that's how Bobby Lee got into comedy. Yeah, that's yeah, probably yeah, yeah. what happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he went to the comedy store and just like. Uh, yeah, keep on that path. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You need to work on your technique, doors. though. Yeah. 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 Like, hold like this. You gotta twist a little bit. Yeah, be gentle, Zach. Jesus. Be gentle. I don't know what to do with it. Holy shit. <laughs> Very interesting. That's a news flash Thank you. From, from from last time. Yeah. Very good. Everything's going good at yeah. the Space Center out uh, there? Yeah, I, I don't care about my job. I mean, I do Whoa. enough to be like, I don't want this to blow up, but like, you know, that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, yeah. I said last time I asked you if you were a single guy, a married guy or a single, and you said you were single and you were picky with women is what you said last time. It's more well, or less I, I just don't. I don't care anymore. Like I just, I don't Ooh. care to get. It's just well, you have to care if you're considering yeah, exactly. sucking cock. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> like you have to care. If well, you're even do even that, that then, then it was just like ah. I'll just there he goes it. again. Yeah. I, how many? He count? likes the act out. He does. He did <laughs> yeah, that last I time. He likes the act out. Yeah, that's fine. Wow. Yeah. What's yeah. your type? What's my type uh, for women? Um, men. Uh, men. <laughs> yeah, men? yeah. You made that an well, option. Women. Okay. Okay. So women. Probably just like a a nice a nice taller taller gal. That can probably like beat me up a little bit. I'd like that actually. If she can like strangle me, that's cool. Like MMA type, I'd be into it. I'm into it. Wow. Yeah. No shit. Yeah. You like to get pushed around a little bit. Yeah, a little huh? bit. Wow. No, I, I, everyone's so tiny or something. Like, I well, just, you're pretty uh, big. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah, wow. Just, Holy shit, Zach Arthur, you're all over the place. Yeah, yeah, I thought yeah. about talking to Amy Schumer. No, oh, no, uh, <laughs> no. I like him. I like him like good looking. Too. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> like, that is one. Yeah, thing you ever I heard like. of Lizzo? Yeah. You'd probably oh, like that fuck, gal. Dude, no, thank she'll you. She'll throw Jesus. you around a little yeah. bit. No, she's just fucking. She might eat well, you. She'll choke me out a different way. Just like, 
putting my face in her fat rolls all the hey. time. Oh. But, oh, Don't talk the about Lizzo like that. Cool girl. Oh, no. There'd be a lot of friction <laughs> if they did that. A lot of friction. Friendly fire. She's <laughs> strong and brave and talented. She is. She is. Wow. <laughs> so Zach Arthur. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'm really. I, I could talk to you for like another yeah. half hour. Oh, I really could. So yeah, sweet. man. Thanks yeah. for coming out. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. He did. He totally came out. Yeah, I think so. I don't. <laughs> Give know it up for Zach on. coming out, yeah. everybody! <laughs> Woo! Hey Good job, Zach Arthur. Thanks for coming, man. Appreciate it. That's it. Came all over the place. All right, folks. That's it for the night. Boy, we went a little bit long tonight, like the last episode. And how about a round of applause for our special guest, Captain Wright? That's him right Woo! there. Yeah. Thank you, guys. So thanks for being fun. here, Captain. Yeah, thanks for having me. And that's my man, King Hooker, over there. Let him hear it Woo! one more time. And that's Jimmy Moynihan right there. We're here every Monday, folks. Come on back. Thank you guys so much. My name is Judd Jones. Hit that music, Taryn. Let's hear it, baby. <laughs>